we are live how's it going everybody it's been a few days since we've been live on my channel so i thought i'd pop over here we're gonna do a little sketching tonight maybe a little colored pencil action i have a plan we'll see how well it gets executed i'm in the mood for some gummy bears tonight so we're gonna try to bust out the colored pencils and draw some chill down the uh, music just a skosh there we go fire up the double cam boom all right hey joe how's it going They are the gummy bears. They are the gummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Not cartoon gummy bears. Like the legit candy gummy bears. That's the goal. Tonight. Sorry. To get your hopes up on that. They will be legit gummy bears there they are gummy bears that's the reference that we're gonna be working with today we'll play they are tasty nonetheless and if it actually turns out well maybe i'll reward myself with some gummy bears perhaps some sour gummy bears because those are my favorite but i might just go old school with the original flavors hey ross welcome Welcome to the stream. Aiming earlier so I can start getting some actual bear shapes going. Just stay away from the. Oh, Lord. Have you guys read the reviews about the sugar free Amazon? <sighs> that is some good reading. Go look up Harry Bow. Ooh, blurry, blurry free gummy bears on Amazon. Read the reviews, you guys. Will not be disappointed. What is disappointing, however, is how blurry this camera is, and I have no power over it whatsoever. So we're just going to roll with the punches and just do the thing. Hopefully it'll clear up on its own. Let's try the, the photo trick. Let's see how that goes. Photo trick, photo trick. Let's see if it does anything. Maybe pull that off there. Unfortunately, it's not. Been, I've not been the only victim of pixelization tonight. Jeremy was pixelating earlier and uh, also Riley. So I know it's going around. It's not just me this time. It's a thing. It's a thing. Turn the headphones down just a little bit. I am like... Lots of mishaps tonight. <laughs> oh, you got the jokes. What is going on here? I'm trying to pull it off, pull it back on. I don't know. That's not fun. No, looks fine in the little preview window, but not the, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, we have clearness for at least a second. Let's hurry and get something accomplished. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's Joe. Whoa. Hello, Joe. I hope you were ready. Cause there you are. <laughs> I will give you the power and you can uh, click the buttons as you wish. It's good to see you. It's it's good to be seen. I think. Maybe. Hello. Hello. Hello, me. Check one. Just those. There we go. Hey, hey. Hello. Mark, how's it going? Can you hear me? Yes, hello. Greetings. Wow. I can barely hear you. Look at that. Right. Gummies. 
didn't mean to click on that. I'm sorry. What's happening? Are you drawing gummy bears? I am drawing gummy bears. Gummy bears are what I'm doing. Can you please light a candle for me today, July 7th, in honor of my late mom's birthday? Sure. Do I have... I don't think I have a candle, but... Um, I will I will light a candle in my heart for I, your late mom's I will birthday. light candles in my heart, yes. Yes, heart there is a flame great. lit in all of our hearts. Will you light a candle for me, Mark? Hmm. Can you light? Joe, will you be my candle on the wall? Like a candle in the wind. Now, where did everybody go? Um, I don't know. Where? They have, they, Jeremy's probably gone to bed. The poor boy's been broadcasting for hours and hours. I, I, I saw that. Yes, yes, this pencil is not going to cut it. You went blurry. Yeah, well, you know. Why do they do that? Stuff happens. I I have words that aren't kind to say about that whole situation. You're shopping for what, Lou? Hello, I'm shopping. What's he shopping for? I don't know what he's shopping for. Luke, what are you doing? shopping for? What's going on? I don't know what he's doing. Luke, do you need an invitation? You can so come tell us what you're shopping at for. He still hasn't found what he's shopping for. I hear that they have a sale on Amazon Prime for a five-gallon drum of lube. Oh, isn't that like an ongoing, like, forever thing? Depends. Safety first. No, he wears the pins. <laughs> well... We're just learning all yeah. sorts of things. Yeah. I like to see Luke slip sliding in that lube. That just gives a whole new meaning to slip sliding away. No, no patch kit. We're talking about lube, personal lubrication for your naughty parts. If I need to be more specific, that way there's no more indie windows. Naughty part lubrication. Yeah. There you go. So, Joe. What? How was your vacation? Freaking awesome. Was there any part of the Carolinas you did not hike? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carolinas is a big there area. Was a... <laughs> I, I know, I know. It looked so beautiful. Yeah, we had a blast. We really did. Um, Man, it was just one of those trips you just didn't want to end, you know? So. Aww. But yeah. We uh, we had a great time. The wife and I. Yes, yes. Good. Out into the wilderness, if you if you will. The wilderness. I'm doing some work in the background here for some client stuff, getting myself ready for Very tomorrow. Cool. Excellent. Well, sir, you were missed. You missed you. I ya. was? Well, I missed you. I don't know about anybody oh. else, but I missed you. Well, that's that's great. That's that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've been gone almost a week. I know. Did Hap send you that love letter the saying, come back? <laughs> I didn't get any love letters from Haps, unfortunately. Mm. No. Just invites from Jeremy. Oh. Which reminded me that I'm still, you know, there's there's people out there that uh, you kept seeing pics of, yeah, because he doesn't have an Instagram account. That's funny. <laughs> Here, one day, one tomorrow. day, one day, Luke. Will one day, he'll he'll advance the world into a new territory. Venture off the land. And grow a pair of digital cojones. Whoa, and explore. Whoa, whoa. Shots fired. Shots fired. Speaking of exploring. Yes. I 
joined a Discord server today. You what? That was an adventure. I I joined a Discord server today. Oh, did you join Lost this Discord? I am on Lost and I'm on Milks. So I did two servers. Nice. To be technical. Yeah. Very Milks nice. just recently started one, so I was like, fine, you're twisting my arm. I will we have a uh, PopX Discord about. server. Wait, we do? Why don't we use it? Um, <laughs> it's out there. It's just never promoted. It? It's just never promoted, Very you know? Interesting. Yeah. Very cool. I don't think it's that difficult to learn. I'm just unfamiliar with it. No, it's oh, it's basically no. a glorified message board system. That's essentially is what it is. Yeah. Sounds like a way to get Instagram a sounds like a way to get a little home. old lady delivered to your home in thirty minutes or less. <laughs> like a grant like a Grammy, like Gram Grammy. Oh boy, that was a dry one. Come on, Luke. You're better yeah, well, than that, that. I mean, you have to read that literally in Luke's voice in the back of your head. I know, I, I do. Yeah, I, I can yeah. hear the the monotone of the. the Luke, do the you need an invite of it. so you can bring the uh, comedy up a notch in this room? <laughs> <laughs> you want to? Do you want to get comedic? Are you looking for a way to explore yourself? Wow. Oh, don't explore yourself on my channel, please. <laughs> Keep that for the your own private time. You can explore yourself on my channel. Well, so I'm going to go see Black Widow tomorrow night. Tomorrow, all right. Yeah, there's kind um, of I a show already... this weekend about it. Yeah, I asked my husband out on a date the other night. Nice. All pending on babysitters being lined babysitters. up. Babysitters. Yes. I know not what that is. It will have to wait until oh, Saturday night. When the moon is right. Because you know, work and stuff. We're going to have some it's fun, amazing. show you how it's done, TGIF. Oh, yeah. What did he say? What did who say? Oh, what did, Luke, jo uh, did Josh say? Your texts are so, like, delayed. Because I asked my husband yeah. out on a date. He said, he said yes. yes. And he checked yes on that one, not no. Check yes or Check no. yes or no. Shuffering shuck a tash. Shop and shop and hash. Stop. Thank you. All right, let's see here. So we watched the newest Loki tonight. Yes. Fun so times. It was rather great and glorious, mm -hmm. if I do say so myself. I'm quite excited about how things are going. The unpacking of Easter eggs. Did you see Thor's hammer? I saw Thor's hammer. Was that, Who was in the jar? I couldn't tell. It was either Wasp or Ant-Man. Or um, It was pretty gnarly, though. Yeah, I was kind of thrilled. I was about, I'm, I'm going to have to go back like tomorrow and like frame by frame <clears> it. Because <throat> there's a lot of Yeah, that whole area. It kind of reminded me of Sakaar a little um, bit. When they first went to the Void... Hello? And they were doing like the, the landscape views of the dilapidated skyscrapers and whatnot. Was the was the building off to the right the tower, the Avengers Tower? I, I don't I know. I have to go back and watch. It's been so long <laughs> since I've seen the Avengers Tower that I was like, I think that's what that is. I'm pretty sure. But I wasn't stopping the video to frame it, though my husband wouldn't mind so much, but my kids would. So I was like, all right, let's just keep trudging forward. I'll revisit that tomorrow. 
will be glorious. That's really cool. Uh, there's a guy I watch on YouTube. He said that the world that Loki's put into is almost like the Upside Down from Stranger Things. It is. Yeah, exactly. I can get behind, I can get out behind that. This symbol that we think is an hourglass or an infinity symbol could also be a Degas. This is a Norse rune that represents the end of a path and an awakening. It also shows the balance between negative and positive energy and between light and darkness. And this is Loki's entire arc in Norse mythology, in the movies, and in this series. Loki is a character who is defined by loops, death and rebirth, like Ragnarok. The monster of this episode is called Eliot. In the comics, he's exactly this, a big purple void that transcends all space and time. He was accidentally freed by Ravona Renslayer, who then had to ask the Avengers for help defeating him. However, he ended up being used as a pawn by Kang the Conqueror. Not the first hint about Kang in this episode. Ravona genuinely wants to find out who created the TVA. I've mentioned this before, but in the comics, she's a princess from the 43rd century who's in love with Kang. Maybe in the show, she was a princess and the TVA took her as a variant, and the series oh. is actually going to end with her meeting Kang. The series has done a lot to mirror Thor's character growth from Thor Ragnarok. Both characters were transported to a new world, forced to change their appearance, and were kidnapped by a dictatorship. And now, Loki ends up on a trash heap planet, just like Thor did, and has to venture into a large, angry void, just like Thor. The kid Loki is a badass. Turns out he killed Thor in his timeline. Now, I've yeah, that was pretty before, badass. But mm -hmm. this show is likely setting up Kid Loki as a member of the Young Avengers. Almost every member of this team has appeared in the MCU or is scheduled to appear very soon. The episode is filled with background Easter eggs that I spotted and that some of you spotted on Twitter, and thanks all of you for that. One of the most obvious was this bright yellow Thanos helicopter, like he flew in the comic book Spidey Super Stories number 30. Oh, wow. In fact, nice. Thanos' helicopter blade sword in Endgame was an homage to this appearance. There's a spaceship, or maybe a UFO here, maybe from a reality where aliens did land on Earth in the 1950s in a flying saucer. I know I've seen one just like this before in the comics being flown by your mom. In the foreground here, you can see see a giant yellow jacket helmet from the first Ant-Man movie. Oh. This is likely from an alternate reality where he chose to grow instead of shrink. But maybe a yellow the jacket the band, from Ant-Man shrank cross down he and yellow the jacket realm. Okay. From there maybe I knew there was some creature a in a jar. He grew himself so far that he ended up here. And we already know that the quantum realm facilitates time travel, so it could be that Cross got here on his own, maybe after figuring out how to grow himself. Thanks to David Gallagher for pointing the helmet out to me. When the camera goes underground, we see a frog version of Thor. That's right. Frog Thor. The mighty Throg from the Throg. Comics. His jar is labeled T365 oh, and Thor 365. Jeez, we're going to be talking for hours about just to the jump up and in reach this episode. This is also a callback to the first Avengers movie when he's falling through the air in Hulk's room. The others mock Loki, saying, You leave your glorious purpose there. And of course, this has been one of Loki's catchphrases since the first Avengers. I am Loki, the last guy, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. It also keeps getting repeated throughout the series. Back at the TVA, Ravona refers to the real head of the TVA as, I'm a man behind the curtain from Kelly a reference to the Wizard of Oz. This show's always had strong parallels to the Wizard of Oz. Sylvie and Dorothy are both young girls taken at a young age who are just trying mm -hmm. to get home. Also, all of the supporting characters in the Wizard of Oz come to realize that they actually had what they needed all along. And in this case, it seems like Loki had power inside of him he never knew about. I think we're stronger than we realize! The episode features Richard E. Grant as classic Loki, wearing a costume that's an exact copy of his look in the comics. That's so but good. unlike his comic counterpart, he's come to realize the errors of his ways and just wants companionship. He's feeding alligator Loki boxed Roxy wine. I'm thinking this is a variant version of Roxxon, the evil corporation that owns the Roxcart store that we saw in episode two. Meanwhile, Kid Loki is drinking an old school Ecto-1 high C. Did you see that? I saw Dude, that. I snapped that. I saw the Ecto Cooler. I was like, that's an Ecto Cooler. You know exactly. And Josh was like, what? Ecto Cooler juice box from 1989. Sir Arthur indeed on Twitter says that the music playing in the bowling alley is the Mike Flowers pop cover of Wonderwall, in a way, a variant of a popular song. We're broken. Every version of us forever. 
Now that we've seen Richard E. Grant as future Loki, it confirms something I've been saying for a long time about the Asgardian god of mischief. His hair is starting to thin, and he will go bald. Someone should tell him that the best way to prevent hair loss is to start when you still have hair left. No, Explaining their, their disappearances. disappearances. Oh my god. To be Loki. Ancient One explained, moving around an infinity stone causes way more damage to the timeline. In this new branch reality, without our chief weapon against the forces of darkness, our world would be overrun. MK Songboard on Twitter also pointed out that this board had a reference to Wrightsville as a Nexus event, and the theater marquee here is from Wrightsville. Then he's greeted by a Loki wearing a Vote Loki badge from the excellent Vote Loki comic book five years ago. In wow. the comic, Loki was nearly elected president by promising to lie to everyone, but the entire campaign turned out to be a lie to simply help out one character. And Crackhead Jong points out that this guy is a Loki variant that we saw hinted at in episode two. There are also matching shots of Loki and Sylvie looking up at their new predicament, as one of the many ways the show uses visuals to link these two characters together and show us that they have a special bond. God of Biscuits on Twitter pointed out that the two bridges are the Golden Gate and the Bay Bridge, but they're mashed together like they were built to be part of the same bridge. Then Sylvie sees a pyramid and a sphinx, another possible hint to an appearance I saw of the Kang. Sphinx. In the comics, Kang is from the future and decides to roll around in the past for fun. He invents the identity of Ramatut and uses a time machine disguised as a sphinx to go back in time and rule ancient Egypt. And there's another Kang hint here, with Avengers Tower being renamed Kang it Tower. Is Avengers in the Tower. comics, Tony Kang Stark Tower. sells Avengers Tower to the King Corporation, nice. which turns out to be Let me look at that again. Kang. In the comics, Kang is from the future <clears throat> and decides to roll around in the past for fun. He invents the identity of Ramatut and uses a time machine disguised as a sphinx to go back in time and rule ancient Egypt. And there's another Kang hint here, with Avengers Tower being renamed Wow, look at that. Kang Tower. In the comics, Tony Stark sells Avengers Tower to the King Corporation, which turns out to be a corporate front for the villain Kang. Thanks Zephyr44 for that one. We also see Stonehenge, a place where Eric Selvig tried to place his instruments to read the Convergence. Now it could be that Stonehenge no, world reality it. nexus a possible gateway to planets like this one or maybe they just built it wrong in this reality and stonehenge had to be purged back at the bowling alley we see a game called space mission which was only a board game and never a video game in reality war breaks out between the lokis and we see why none of these guys have ever made it off the planet i betrayed you and now i'm king about that you can't be serious come on What's your expect? And I thought this was the key line of the episode. And whenever one of us dares try to fix themselves, let them here to die. Now, I've talked about this before, about how Lokis are trapped in a loop of redemption and failure, redemption and failure, and this could explain why. Loki has improved himself before, but the TVA always steps in to erase his gains until Thanos permanently erases him. Hmm. Carol X Loki on Twitter pointed out that Kid Loki and Alligator Loki do get help. Get help! Help him! Also, President Loki gets his hand cut off, meaning that he probably came from Phase 2, where every film featured someone losing a limb as an ode to The Empire Strikes Back. Outside, we see the USS Eldridge, the subject of another urban myth, the Philadelphia Experiment. This myth says the Navy brought the ship into dry dock to equip it with a new technology to make it invisible to radar, but then it disappeared, and now we know where it went. According to Silent Hamish on Twitter, <laughs> the tank in the episode was a Chrysler TV-8, a nuclear-powered tank designed by Chrysler in the 1950s that was never put into production because it's a terrible idea. One shell hit the nuclear power <laughs> tank and explosion but maybe was in some alternate reality. Johnny Pappas on Twitter pointed out that this license plate reads GRNW1D. Johnny Pappas. Grinwald, longtime Marvel writer and editor and the basis for Mobius and the comics. Mobius doesn't remember the alligator. A lot of Loki, but no, I don't remember an alligator. Which supports the theory that Mobius is not the only Mobius. In the comics, there are several of these guys, and they're all clones. <laughs> and in episode two, Ravona says that he left all the rings on the coffee table, but he doesn't remember doing so. <laughs> so the rings are already there. And they're all in here. So it would not surprise me if at some point in the show we still get to see multiple Owen Wilsons popping up at the same time. You know, I think the Loki of this show has actually undergone even greater changes than the main timeline Loki. I'm not so sure that the main timeline Loki wouldn't have eventually tried to rule again. But this guy knows his place in the universe and knows that ruling just won't make him happy. And then... 
The two of them walk by a Kree warship, perhaps the Dark Aster, right here. Oh, now, this could very yeah. easily be from an alternate reality where Carol Danvers wasn't able to stop the Kree from destroying the Earth, or where Ronan destroyed Xandar. The shield helicarrier has the Hydra logo on it from a timeline where Hydra succeeded in launching Project wow. Insol. And Santos to mm -hmm. Isaiah is pointing out that this is the Red Skull's rocket ship from Captain America, the first of It sure damn Here's is. It's a very cool Easter egg. This is a statue of the head of the Living Tribunal. In the comics, he's so the end-all, be-all judge of existence, and he's been mentioned in the MCU before. This is the staff of the Living Tribunal. Kid Loki gives our Loki a flaming dagger. Now this could be Leviathan, a sword that Loki forged to slay a rooster in Norse mythology. Norse mythology is even weirder than Marvel Comics. When old Loki sacrifices himself, he builds a replica of Asgard. And this made me wonder if when he was on that planet all by himself, if this is what he did to keep himself company. Maybe not building the whole city at once, but he could have just created everything around him, and it would have spawned new areas as he moved around, sort of creating a bubble around him where he would always be king. And this, of course, would be symbolic of Loki's desire to rule, where he would have an entire kingdom, but no one to share it with. Andrew Iceman on Twitter points out that the Void versus classic Loki is taken directly from the Siege comic books. When Sylvie mentions Loki helping to enchant others, he says, I don't know how. but we've actually seen him do this before to Valkyrie and Ragnarok. It must be a very painful memory. <laughs> Now, maybe he just doesn't know he has this ability yet because that movie takes place further in his possible future. And, of course, the episode has a fairy tale cliffhanger with the young prince and his lady love looking at the tower of the evil wizard who's controlling everything. Now, this palace exists at the end of time, which is where the timekeepers come from in the comics. In the books, the last surviving member of the TVA creates the timekeepers to go back and establish the TVA. If that's the case, then maybe the person in here could be Mobius from the future. Let's say he goes back to tear down the TVA, gets mind wiped again, and ends up staying on to create the TVA. Now this is interesting. E. Lorenzo on Twitter pointed out that Trapper 15's cell and Loki's cell from Thor the Dark World have very similar energy. This could mean that whoever is behind the TVA knows Norse technology. It could in fact be a variant Loki. Of course, I still like the theory that it's actually Miss Minutes. It could also be Kang, or maybe an older version of Kang from the comics, Immortus maybe being played by Morgan Freeman. But let me know your Big Boss theories <laughs> down in the comments or at me on Twitter. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy. Nice. Did you get all that, Lindsay? I did. That was a lot. But that was, was awesome. A lot to digest, right? Yeah, it was. My goodness. Like I said, that was a packed full episode. So pretty much every scene in that dump world Mm -hmm. is just freaking Easter egg, Easter egg glory City. for Marvel Comics. Not yeah. just for the the movies, but for the comics. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you get people behind an That's IP awesome. that they actually know. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that was great, man. I can't wait to see the finale next comic week. Book oh my geeks. gosh. Running the show. That's what happens. That finale That's will be amazing. great next week. All right, let me drag oh this over. Oh my gosh. So we have Powerhouse Youth Project. Let me just delete these. Where the heck is everybody tonight? Doing the same thing. Did we, did we bore Luke to death over there? He's probably like, I'm out. They, they go on nerdy. Yeah, I don't know what's up. That's all right. That's there okay. There may not be a lot of people on here. Drawing my bears, hanging out with my buddy. Drawing your gummy bears. Well, you are number one on the list, I'm on my end. Yay! Well, actually, you're number two on trending. Listening and learning. You're right behind Jim in Chicagoland. Jay uh -huh. Opera is online as well. Oh, there's a oh, lot that's going right. on it's right now. Catalyst. SJ Custom Art is on as well. He's cool. Have you chatted with him not, before? No. It looks like there's a lot he, of art um, and music and things like that going on tonight. Yeah, he suffers from a lot of anxiety, so he doesn't save his broadcasts. So as soon as he gets done going live, he deletes them. Really? But he is a really cool Instagram, and he's a really sweet guy. He just doesn't, you know, yeah. introverted, antisocial, 
interesting no, no, I get it. dreams. Yeah. But he does really cool like calligraphy style art. That's cool. Yeah. All right, let me email my client very back fun. here. Very fun guy. Very All nice. right, so let's delete that and let's reply. Here's the link to the modified. Mr. Bear, what's wrong with your face? It's sideways. Logo. Okay, let's try this again. This time we're going to make the face go the right direction. <laughs> I think this is the most screen time Miss Minutes has gotten, which I was kind of excited about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Looks like uh, SJ is working on calligraphy art. Mm hmm. That's typically his jam. He does some really fun stuff. He was working on a birthday card the other day where he was writing like messages within the inside of letters and stuff. It was kind of fun. I'm watching him draw here. It's pretty cool. Yes. He's drawing my name in calligraphy here right now. He's I drawing your name in calligraphy? That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he just does stuff on the fly. It's really fun. He's uh, from Periscope. Michelle knows him. Now he's doing my name in multiple formats. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's fun. All right. Well, that 
Let's see, what do I want to draw tonight? What's tickling your fancy? My balls. What's tickling my balls tonight? Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all I right. expect that, Joe. Whoa, what has that been? Oh, no, there's a there's an Alexander in the room here. It just, it just bounced me back. Let's get oh rid of her right quick. Oh, sh sh there's a Michelle. Let's ban her right quick. What? What did I do? No, don't ban her. Where, what did I do? Get her out of here. Was it all that talk about VIP now? <laughs> Where am I? There I am. No, I'm not. I'm not here. Turning off camera. I'm still in like not visible mode, I think. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How Are you drawing tonight, Michelle? I may. I just am like trying to get into the mindset. Um, I just did a. Right. I, I just did a. Regret to inform you, I cannot accept this position. <laughs> letter. Oh, sorry to hurt oh. your feelings and get your hopes up, but you suck, and I'm going to swirl. <laughs> Is that I'm what it said? Cog in your machine. You are dead to me. Goodbye. <laughs> no, not burning that bridge because you know it is part of the no, same. Like the, the, the Cleveland Clinic network here is humongous. So yeah, that was the mothership. I'm glad you've had so many good opportunities come through. I'm just been thrilled. Oh, to hear about all of your God. good things. Well, it's just such a it's such night and day from where I used to live. Seriously, mm -hmm. take what we give you. Slave wages. You know, <laughs> you get a glass of water and a. Biscuit. I'm popping in and out, sneaking in really because I'm meant to be concentrated. No worries, Roz. I'm I'm just glad you're here hanging out. She's in a Zoom meeting too. Yes, yeah, her and over in Aussie land, I bet she's having to work and stuff like adulting and whatever. God, like, you know, I just realized that like I have to turn into one of those. I was looking at how long my fingernails are. I'm like, yeah, that's a thing of the past. <laughs> Michelle. Hello, Joseph. Hello, my dear. <laughs> Who is that? That is my voice. No, it's not. Without using a voice changer. That actually sounded like Jeremy pretending to be you. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. You can't be me. <laughs> no one can be Joe. So there can be only tonight? one you. Tonight. Hey, Bo, how's it going? Hey there, fancy pants. We're oh. drawing gummy bears. I'm Tarnation Sam Hill Heck oh, Arguments. Right. Gummy bears. I have no idea what I just said. That's all right. What I think a little happening? bit of too much of the Carolinas is rubbing off on me. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I thought Lindsay was rubbing off on everybody. <clears> rubbing <throat> on everybody. I'm not really sure. Rubbing like off is rub a good people. thing. She rubs them the right way rub and the wrong way. Sometimes. So I am uh, going to go away. see Black Widow tomorrow. I saw that you posted on my feed that you are you are excited. You and you and Bob are gonna go watch it this weekend. We are gonna go see it. Yeah. You and Bab are you and Bab gonna go watch it? Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Babs. Babs. You and Babs. Bob Reno. I like Bob. He's a good feller. <laughs> Actually, oh, Bob boy. Like, He's a pretty tomorrow. fart smeller. That Bob. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Bo. Tomorrow night we're going out for a oh, sick dinner to celebrate things, stuff and things. You know, the fact that I'm going to be... Oh my god, I can't believe it. I mean, I walked in that kitchen yesterday and I was like talking with Chef Sarah. And I literally felt like, you know, just put me on a line right now. Like, just give me an apron. Did you say you wanted to, wanted to snort a line right now? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. To... Life is its own I was life. way off on that one. I take... I, coffee is about the closest I come to drugs. Although, you know, when they say that I have hey, to take a drug test, I just wonder if they're going? just testing to see right. how much I can do. I'll so. be right back. I gotta go, I gotta go line, line some up. I'll be right back. Ooh, oh, all right. I'm just joking. I gotta go get my, my hand <laughs> thingy drawer. <laughs> okay, you can pick things up and put things down. Do whatever you want to do. Um, how's it going, going, Don? And... Uh, Bo's down for whatever anyone's clowning over there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> he even brought the toilet paper. Hey, look at that. He's prepared. He's like a Boy Scout. No, like, yeah. What's the drug test for? To see how much I can do? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Give me the drugs. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I was, I mean, my email is so long. 
that I had to read here now that I've like onboarding or whatever they call it. Yes, this is uh, Michelle's Coke and Blow break. So you can right. see Michelle for all of those needs. <laughs> I'm, I'm personally <laughs> fresh out. <laughs> there was a job posted that indeed said I could be a burrito roller. I'm Ooh. like, yeah, I can roll some stuff. Let's uh, was roll. that after I applied for the cannabis thing? <laughs> if you can roll that, you can roll a burrito. Because they kind of can roll together. anything you want, honey. <laughs> well, I remember that one job said like you have to have. You can have two jobs. Here. You can work at the the pot dispensary a little while. And then taco. Oh, and then your second job later will be the burritos, and you'll be like half off everything. There is this place right? called the Taco Tontos, and I'm like, really, seriously? What? Is that the name of this place? Taco Tontos. Where <laughs> That's where the burrito roller was. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I was just clapping along. You know, I saw this sunset, and I thought of you, Joseph. I did. Aww. I was like. The water was like this. I don't like smooth... sunsets. They're of Satan. <laughs> Satan smooth, sunset. That's what mama says. Blue. Mom says never look at a sunset. You'll go blind and your soul will go straight to hell. Oh, your mom is weird. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I will show you guys something I did while I was away. Golden, okay. Golden. I got inspired because we were, we were on this ridge that's the highest point in all of South Carolina. 3,500 feet above sea level. Is that the one where you were by, like, like you could stand on the... Yes. The line? Yes, like that is Saz Sazafras Mountain? Mountain Overlook, essentially, is what that is. Yeah, so, I... Like root beer? Um, so, here's what I... So it was a it. night scene. <gasps> oh, God, it Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love the... It's, like, misty. It's uh, it is, and then there's, like, there's, there's like stars... Moon. in in the moon sky nice. and then um but this this actual line here is inspired by the actual line of mountains i was seeing in the blue ridge oh, smoky mountains nice. so this this That's awesome. yeah that photo there is actually let me see if i can find it right quick I, you'll, you'll see the reference i i did a little photo referencing mm -hmm. uh so that would have been this day here so let's go down you were standing on the lines. Line. Yeah, I was like literally. Line. These boys yeah, are addicted that. to your. <laughs> he was so, on the borderline. Isn't it a song? Uh, let's see. Um, where is that image of the tr of? Oh. Right there. There. Behind me. <gasps> Look at that. So see behind me. Yeah. So that's what. In, oh, there's my. If you guys never see my wife, there's my She's wife. So my beauty. She's my angel, She's my so world, my everything. <laughs> We do everything together. Nice. Um, but yeah, That's so true. let's see. Did I get that? Shoot, I didn't get that one image. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, you get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could so, see the Blue Ridge Mountains from where you were at. Yes, we were in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Or not? There was the other one that was thinking of Smoky Mountains. Smoky Mountains, yes. Smoky Mountains were an hour and twenty-five minutes from us, so we could see them perfectly on the horizon mm -hmm. from where we were. That's, That's what awesome. I mean. Yes. Mm. Oh, I gotta get my mind thinking about art again. Or no, this other stuff. Lindsay, do you have a copy of Ghostbusters? Um. Yes, it's actually streaming. W which app is that on? The other day. One moment, please. I'll tell you. Because I was going to try to tell the guys, like, hey first guys. one, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. First one. Uh, it is on Amazon Prime. Beautiful. So that's this Sunday. You guys are going to talk about Black Widow. Wait, yeah. it's no, it's not. It's a uh, rented, rented. So there's Sorry. the image that I was trying to find that was inspiration for my drawing. Um, you can and so rent if, it from if you're looking these two peaks right here that I'm zooming in on. Mm. That's actually a, a place called Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Oh, okay. And this mountain range way in the back, that's high peak, this peak right here, mm -hmm. that is called Newfound Gap. That is the highest peak in all of the Smoky Mountains. Oh. So that is about a 6,000 feet peak.
peak on that guy. So, there you go. Oh, wait, a little history the, for you there. The one, not the new one. But I've actually been a lot higher. I, I've been in Denver and um, Mount Charleston in Nevada is 13,000 feet above sea level. I was just there back in October. My wife ended up getting really sick on that trip. That one. That one. I kind of want to draw tonight, though. I kind of want to do a waterfall, but in a vector style. Oh, you have so many cool waterfalls that you saw. <laughs> I was like, I just want to like sit there for an hour and just like listen. It was all. amazing, Lindsay. And we wow. did exactly that. The weather was only like 82 degrees with low humidity. So it's exactly what we did. We went up to a peak. We found a rock. I prayed and meditated and Alex did the same. And Very cool. it was just, oh my gosh. Unreal. I'm not seeing the old one. That was the new one I was looking at earlier. I'm not seeing the old one. Sh free streaming, by the way. Well, if you're not finding it, I may need to upload it then. I would say just do it out of precautionary. Yeah, I'll do that tonight. Let me make sure. Because I swear I saw it the other day, I'm but pretty you know, sure I already have the, the video file because I movies i own already i i what i do is i rip the the dvd or blu-ray and i put it in a digital mm -hmm. file so i can stream it quickly and it's greatly appreciated that you do that sir. yep there it is ghostbusters one and two there and ghostbusters go. the reboot i'll get that in the drop file tonight for you so you're going to discuss the reboot as well no Fun though this no, is, the original. Kids, I need to get okay, into some trouble say, of that my green nature. You shouldn't need to raise bail money. Well, not this time. Don, thanks for stopping through. I appreciate you every time you come in. So, um, um don't get into too much trouble, and we'll see you it just around. Depends on what kind of things he's doing one. with those bagpipes. Always <laughs> welcome to return if you find yourself short of trouble. You just need some mm. high quality family entertainment. Okay. Of the artistic. Put on the sacred glove. The sacred glove of art. I need to do something. I should be resuming my Friday concert cast this month. Woo! Wow. Um, Today is my mom and dad's 43rd so. wedding anniversary. Happy birthday, oh, mom and dad. Nice. Yeah. Or anniversary, not birthday. <laughs> I called and said, I love you guys. Love your mom, too. Thank you for procreating and having me. Nice. It's it was my true. dad's my dad's birthday on Monday. All right. Like Seventy nine. So wrong, but yet oh so right. It's gonna right, be eighty. Pallet. Where did the time so go? So if I'm doing that, I need to. How do you change a palette? Set current. Oh, okay. So can I just? take all right i want that there was one part of the trip this week and i thought my legs were going to give out on me oh yeah oh no because mm -hmm. you just pushed yourself too hard way too hard i um it was at the when we went to the first fall, which would be White White Falls, White Water Falls. Um, That's scary. We did a um, four mile hike in and a four mile hike out. Oh my gosh! Jim. And wow. it's one of those things. It's not. It's not a a flat surface. Like you're using tree roots to step down like two and three feet. Mm -hmm. And there's there's like you're walking all the way down into a ravine and i ended up walking i actually have have the image Ooh, here oh yeah up and down that just sounds all right like so i ended up listen to this i did all right 1136 calories at a elevation gain now it's counting the elevation that i walked the maximum elevation that i did was 3028 but the maximum down 
that I walked into the ravine was 1,124 feet what? straight down, walking into a ravine on switchbacks and winding, winding what? little trails. It was crazy. That sounds really rough on the ankles and the knees. <laughs> it was. It was. And I, I got to a you. point that I was, I was telling my wife, I was like, I don't know. I was like, should we turn back? And then we started hearing the water up ahead. Aww. And I'm like, I'm not going to come this far and turn mm. back. I just can't do it. Aww. And uh, she's like, well, let's go do it. Let's do it. You know, you'll be all right. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm doing this. And so yeah. we did. And holy cow. It was You're a trooper. Brutal. Brutal. Homo. Was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. I knew it. Awesome. It's 11 11, everyone. Make a wish. Oh, I can show it's 12, you the world. That's weird. Joe says, um, Josh says, good night. Good night, pumpkin. It's 12 12. I looked up and it says 12 12. So. Good night, starshine. The universe says, welcome. <laughs> I really need to, like, draw something. Mm. Turn this paper. Every time I draw a new bear, I have to like turn the paper and... so his face gets drawn straight. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I think I know what. Well, Miss. Badges, what you've been up to yourself lately? Because, you know, stuff and things with the kids. What you been um, up to? Well, drawing we went swimming mm. and had a little cookout for uh, oh, yeah. the day after the 4th of July. Nice. At the in laws' house. Right. Um, on the actual 4th, we just had dinner with my parents. We didn't even go out and watch fireworks. I was so done with the day. I was just like, I it's hot. My tummy's full. You watched <laughs> but the... we watched it on TV. I was, I was like, say you watched them vicariously. It's that's enough. Yeah. We watched them on TV. You know, we saw New York on the replay mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So all was good. Mm. And then um, and the kids didn't really care either. They were like, eh, good <laughs> They weren't a part of the actual popping of it, so they didn't really care. <laughs> they were more looking forward to swimming anyways the next day, so that was fine. And uh, that's really the majority of what we were doing. Yesterday we went shopping, got new phones. Ooh. So fancy. we got new Samsung. I know everyone's... Nice. I know Joe's a, an Apple guy. You got Apple? We, we got the... We got Samsung... 21s ultras or s21 ultras or whatever the hell they call their phones now treated in the old nine pluses for new ones because our speakers were going out my uh, speaker phone was not working properly in in josh's oh. handset speaker where the ear you know needs to hear people talk that was beginning to not That's work not good so it's like it's time it's time to trade those in and get some new ones. We were due up for an upgrade anyway, so it was good timing. So that's basically what we did yesterday. Otherwise, um, Josh had a couple extra days off or an, an extra day off, mm -hmm. and we just hung out around the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Monday was a holiday. Mm hmm. And since he's already off on Monday, he gets so today was like his Monday. Very yeah, cool. It's like, oh, it's at least it's a short week. That's where I've been. Hmm. Just doing the family thing. Even Josh was like, "You haven't like on your computer for the last couple of days." <laughs> Was was like, yeah. wrong? Is like, that's that's what happened for off work. Yeah. I tend to spend the time with you, dear. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, if that's bothering you, I'll go upstairs. And... Yeah. I've been Turn taking on. a lot of naps myself. The old computer, but... <laughs> I don't know if it's the heat or what it is, or the intensity of all this emotional ragtag of stuff that I've been doing, but it's like four o'clock hits and I'm home and I'm like, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> My sleeping schedule has been totally jacked. Taking a nap. We literally Anytime... took a nap and then woke up just in time for the uh, fireworks. That was how, what we did on the 4th of July. Gotcha. We were supposed to have people over and they canceled on us. So we didn't do a whole lot. Of, well, I think we ordered pizza. <laughs> that works. That was it. Pizza and fireworks. And then yeah. I think I broadcasted for a few minutes just to do it because it was fun. Yeah. Okay. Not all bears can be perfect and this is not going to be one of them. Oh my lord. I had a stepchild of gummy bears. All right. <laughs> keep, mo keep moving forward. He's the one that's like melted and stuck to the back seat. Exactly. Underneath his, all the his debris pattern didn't like, fully in imprint properly. <laughs> just keep moving. His just, face just move on to the next bear and don't overanalyze his face, okay? <laughs> they're, they're cousins, not twins, all right? Wow. You wow. know, whenever you splice that gene pool too thin, <laughs> that's what happened. Gummy wow. bear, more like dummy bear. <laughs> that one's the one you eat first. <laughs> that's the tester. That's the tester. Yeah. One in every bag. The slow one. Oh, that's bro. crazy. <laughs> Didn't quite hit the machine right. Didn't quite do it. He broke the we were all counting on him. <laughs> we're pulling for you. Oh, we're just. I love how we have all these backstories for like why they're, bear. why these bears are the way they are. An unfortunate gummy bear accident. <laughs> so many bears. They can't all be perfect. We can't all be mother's favorites. <laughs> My mama said he I said, am her favorite. He said, he said my mama calls me special. My mama's. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about anything. <laughs> there isn't anyone like me ever. I'm the only kind. I'm so unique. I'm special. I like drawing gummy bears. <laughs> I like drawing gummy bears. They got cute little... <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, what? Toe beans. <laughs> what was that last part there? Beans. Toe. Beans. I, like, I don't like toe beans. beans. Do you, you don't like beans? Well. How can you not like a gummy bear toe bean? Lord. You don't know where they've been. Not knowing what toe beans are. <laughs> toe beans? Isn't that what like yeah. cats have on the on their little paws? <laughs> their little toe beans? Yes, the little the little pads on the bottom of their feet oh. the little, on their toes. Oh, toe beans. Their little toe beans. Mm. That doesn't yeah. sound right to me. <laughs> Mom, the truth. Somebody's talking about your toe beans again, Mom. <laughs> Ma, cover up your toe bean. <laughs> Nobody can see that. Nobody's won't see that shit. <laughs> oh, this is a live broadcast. Good lord! Don't sure. do it, Cletus. Show toe beans. Button, Show toe laying beans. out all willy nilly like. Some people get off on that stuff. The neighbors will see. <laughs> Good lord. Put your beans away. Cover them up with a sheet or something. Put your dang beans away. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Ain't nobody want to see that shit. <laughs> Man, I tell you. There is some country up in there. Be funny about country is when Northerners try to be country. Oh, you can't do it. I can't do it. No, you you, you just you can't. 
I cannot. Michelle, Michelle did a, a a a good a good effort earlier. I did. She did a good effort. Yeah, I, I done good. She attempted. <laughs> done pretty good. <laughs> done good. Well, she done all right. She done all right. I did okay. For a damn Yankee. Same thing. She done, she done right. What? For a damn Yankee. Yankee? What's a Yankee? Yankee Doodle Dandy. What is a Yankee? I don't know. I'm a Yankee. They stick feathers in hats. Darn. And pick things up and put I things lived down. I've a lot of things in my life. The hardest thing to lift is myself out of the damn bed every morning. Derp, derp. Stop the hell. What the hell? Michelle's getting confused. Are you okay, Michelle? Don't make me slip out of English. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I speak another language. gonna slip. I'm gonna start. It's gonna get slippery in here. I'm start and talking and my man. old jigglish. Sounded kind of. What about what's jiggling? Who's got oh, jiggles? It's Ojibwe and English like slammed together. Oh, jigglish. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Like, yeah. Did your mom win at the casino? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> did your mom win? Did your mom win over? Did your Tell you something right now. That is lit. Um, I ain't lying, Bo. Daggone flat out joker. I, I don't know if that's gangster or. Redneck. That is Low Country, South Carolina for you. Low Country. There's a upstate like... and then Low Country. Low Country almost sounds like Creole. Ooh. It's got like a little bit of like Alabama Creole. Backwoods combined. slow slur like with a little French twisted in there. I ain't lying, Bo. Ooh. I joke a flat out running up in there. Die gum, Bo. And when they, they call you Bo, like... when they call you Bo, it's almost, you know, it's like, you know, mm -hmm. They're talking to you in first person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is no. that their way of saying dude? Yeah, exactly. Dude. Like bro. Like hey bo. Bro. Hey bo. What you doing over there? Dude. You're not talking to your mother like that. Mm. Oh, that kind of that's a mm. squeaky little little yawn. That there. was a squeaky yawn. Michelle's squeaking. I need to grease my wheels. She's squeaking. I like it when she squeaks. Is that weird? <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. I'm just gonna keep talking like this for the rest of my Why are you guys whispering? What are we talking about? I don't know. What? What <laughs> Voila. We I have should the do some art. Let's do this. Right. Ooh. Ooh. What are we doing? I don't know. It what sounds amazing. I just I want to do something. It sounds like I she's tearing shit up over there. I got some. <laughs> I went Did to turn my stand and it made like a bunch of. <laughs> what are you doing over there? I don't need do drugs. It's just me. Drugs are high. bad. Okay. <laughs> if you do them, you're bad. Okay. <laughs> drugs are bad. I don't need drugs. I, got my I don't eye. either. I really don't. I like them. We don't need them. But we sure do want coffee, is it? <laughs> My mama never said do drugs, so I don't do them anyway. Mm. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, so we got nope, that needs to be so. Michelle, have you been playing around in your watercolors at all this month? I have been actually. Um... I'm behind by about two days, but I figured I'd get caught up. I haven't seen any watercolors being posted, so I don't know how to follow along on your journey. Posted it. I know. It, don't post it. It didn't happen. But seriously, it's like I'm just saying, I get like, up and I do hard the to drawing along in the morning. Family. I know. I, I know. I just figured. Uh, I was like, you know, that's the least. I want to be a supporter. No, literally friend. getting up. <laughs> I know. I get up and I draw. And then I'd go out and do my interview thingy. I want to be a baller like Michelle. Then we usually, since we're out and about, we're like doing something. We just go out and get something to eat. Come home, take a nap. in a hat with a bun. <laughs> hey, and Bob, then, you want to go to McDonald's? No, this, but uh, I do want a 6-4 and Paul. I hear the McRibs out right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want them extra sauces while you're out there, will you? McRib. Can you give me some of that honey mustard? 
<laughs> want some of that honey mustard. We had horsey sauce. Oh, now somebody's been to Arby's. Yep. yep. Arby's gives me the shouts. <gasps> there is this place where we get the shawarma that is just to oh, die. Oh, now you're talking my language right so there. So good. It. I mean, we we ate that yesterday and literally just Dude, after I three hours. Freaking, it was I don't so know good. what it is, but I'm on a shawarma kick lately. It's so yummy. Oh, my God. Lindsay, it's have like you had shawarma? It's melts in your mouth. Shawarma? Um, I guess not. I can't say that I have. I'm gonna take it out of the low. People like they just they've been there for a long time. It's one of those places that people come from miles around just to go to their mm. specific place. Oh, so good. So good. That's nice. Yeah. I'm looking for some things. Oh, what do I do with it? So it's in there. I got the wrong thing. Gosh darn it. Darn this stuff. Gosh darn darn it. We're not fair. Well, if you ever get a chance to have it, Lindsay, um, definitely try it. It's um, it's chicken that's marinated in a yogurt with a mm -hmm. shawarma spice. Yep. It's so yummy. Please. And um, mm -hmm. it's got all kinds of fresh veggies in it, which makes it super healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Ours comes with a little cucumber sauce. Oh, I love the cucumber sauce. Cucumber sauce. It's got a little and, bit of uh, dill in it. Do they put dill in, in yours? Mm-hmm. And then there's, uh, mm -hmm. you just get like the wrap with the lettuce and the tomato if you want well, the tomato. praise it's Jesus in the morning. That sounds good. It just melts in your mouth. It's just delicious. Just delicious. You've got me salivating. Well, you know, Bob was so excited to take me there. He's like... You've never had shawarmas like this before. <laughs> I'm like, well, I've had it before. It's pretty good. Oh, man. It was just divine. Well, if divine. Bob's excited about it, you know it's good. <laughs> Bob, gets, God, boom, Bob gets excited. <laughs> you, you better get going. You drop everything right. run. <laughs> approved by Bob. You got to see mm -hmm. that like in that little small print. Yeah, Bob hashtag. approved. This, this dinner is approved by Bab. <laughs> Thanks, Bab. Bab approved of this, right? Here. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Bab. Bab. What about Bab? What about Bab? What are you doing now? Shawarma on every corner here. There you go. A swarm mm. of shawarma? Perhaps. Do you have a swarm of shawarma? Sounds very oh, shawarma like. I feel so warm. Did you say you feel so warm? I am. Just like Because so you got a warm heart. Yeah. That is. That could be. Aww. Every kiss begins with K. Willie's back, everybody. <laughs> oh, thanks for the warning. Willie's back. I mean, hello, Willie. <laughs> back again. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> That's two different songs. Well, Willie, since you were here last, a few bears have been born. I like bears. Shack. I like that shawarma shack. The shawarma shack. Robert Downey Jr.'s father died today. I don't know if you saw oh, that. I know. Uh, Robert Downey Apparently he was... Uh, going through quite a time of it before he passed. Yeah, it wasn't a very easy ordeal from what I've gathered. Aww. So That's always sad. He was an actor before his father. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, before all that, that too. Yeah, filmmaker. Was was filmmaker, yeah. All the, all the stuff and the things. Robert Downey Sr. Renaissance, Renaissance man. Oh, there's Bob's Burgers. Bob's Brendan says, hey. Hi. Hey. What's up, Brendan? Yes. Oh, dancing, y'all. He got Just Dance. What is it? 
Just Dance is on sale. So he just got it. So Dance, he sh he's, he's shaking a leg with his Switch. Oh no. It's gonna be... A he's gonna be getting turnt in his living room. Or the bedroom or wherever. Probably all over. Can't stop that feeling. Gotta go with it. Anymore. I think that'd be more rock band than dance songs, but yeah. Got it for the PS4. Excuse me. Wrong system. PS4 what are you so thinking? 2013. What are you Seriously. thinking? God. I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy, I'm a gummy bear. bear. I'm a gummy, 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 gummy bear. Oh, yeah. It's a real song. Not just make that up. I'm a gummy bear. It was my son's favorite song for many a year. And then I had to put my foot down and say, no, I will not play that song again for a long, long while. It'll be Media Moon. Maybe I'll play it on your high school graduation. Throwback song. <laughs> Torture you. Falls right in that category with Baby Shark. do 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 Kind of thankful I missed that one. That's more my nephew's speed. I don't do speed. You don't do speed? Well, that's good, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Good, Joe. Didn't have enough tax money to get the crash team racing. Captain Rehab, what's up? Captain Rehab. How's it going? How's it going? Hello. Salutations. Greetings and salutations. To all. In the land of Oz. And to all Oz. a good night. On Haps TV. <laughs> Uh, I took off for a second. Welcome back, Michelle. I'm Speedy Gonzalez. How we spell Gonzalez, but I'll and accept it. It's phonetic. What's up, Jeeves? Do you want to come up and say hello? Oh, the jalapeno on my speak. I sent you invitation, Javanath. 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 So where did this anti badges and uncle? I don't know. It's a, it's a rehab thing. Uncle Joseph, captain uh, of the rehab. I don't thing. know, but I'm somebody. Anti. It's all that matters to me. We're all family Anties here. It's Haps fam, and they call me Uncle Joe. <laughs> that's a that's a big thing in my culture. Everybody's an auntie or an uncle. Even if you're not related. I prefer auntie. But who's, who's, who's watching? Who's counting? That's how we attract oh, that enemies. Enemies. All right, let's try this. My back's hurting at the moment. What are we trying? Are you trying your Kegel exercises again? <laughs> <laughs> not on camera. Well, oh, I've been doing mine Wait. the whole time. Oh, there she is. Let me pop her in. Beep. Oh. Look at, check out these long Pop nails. Socket. You're not going to see that again for a while. Oh, those are nice. I don't usually have long nails. Lovers. Like that's one thing that COVID gave me. Yeah, we're gonna I do some nail art tonight. Nice. Here, wait a minute. Let's just do. I should do some nail art. Her. Oh, that Badger Rake page. I like time. that page. It's my favorite. But. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's happening? All right, let's get this. Yeah, that page right there, that's my favorite. You see that piece of paper? I paper, but it usually comes out some other place. It's black, possibly blue, maybe. It's black paper. Whoop. <sighs> All right. I mean, I, I have the um, the bender gloves over here. Nice. From should, Breakfast Club. You should do your art with the bender gloves. I could. That's Actually, cool. When these you, are amazing. These, use are, the, these are Use the bender gloves when you do your 80s art. So, can you guys Very see cool. That? My um, favorite part's the Velcro. A reverse burp? But these are really cool because they smell like... Um, can you guys see that? There we go. It's a butt burp. Yeah. It's a butt burp. But they smell like um, it's it's goat leather. So does is that what Teen mm. Spirit smells like? Man, it smells good. <laughs> now see, if I want to be cool, see I can I can actually plug this guy in. Let's go. Let's do it. Well, you're streaming, and I don't want to. Oh wait, that. right, right. That's no. like legit. This is this is uh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I have to remind me. Not yeah, this is the awesome practice. mix number two mm -hmm. from Guardians of the Galaxy number two. Yeah, that's such a good soundtrack. Soundtrack. Oh, so retro. Hooked on a feeling. Boom, good chaka. Oh, that's part one. I I, bl oh, I blend the two together because I listen to them literally on the same playlist on shuffle. <laughs> they shuffle them I, I love how your your cost. retro is like my life. Well, it's my, <laughs> my life, life too. I know it was your life. That's my adult my life. life. It's my life as well. Because uh, my adult man. life. I'm so old. <laughs> old AF. I am. No, you're not. Get out I of mean, here. I was. You're not I was old. in college when Miami Vice came on. We used to. That makes you badass. old. That Get doesn't out. make you old. That makes you badass. We used to. Um, I'll collect to watch that. Like down there, like that was like the big show. Everybody would watch. I'm so glad I bought these. No regrets. Retro is my life too. Me too. Retro. They do kind of make you feel empowering. Like you want to just like go to like some kind of arcade with your vest on. Oh, check this out. And you got your retro Sony MDRs. So you can put these on. You got your, you know, you got your Star Lord ear pads, you know. Yeah. Got that going on. Looking all retro. Billy Idol right there. You know it. Ooh. White wedding. Rebel yell. We the rebel yell. yell. We grab more, more, more. One more. I've been meaning to try out these paints. But it's really yeah. one thing I'm I'm enjoying about my cassette players. I'm really exploring music in a different way as of late i've been finding myself listening you know yeah more on my walkman i actually took my walkman to that's cool to south carolina my, my mother-in-law's like is that what, what i think it is and i'm like yeah it sure in is video. that's how we roll she's like oh my god can i try it and i'm like yes and uh, she was, she was like, "Oh my gosh, it's so cool that you got a retro Sony Walkman." That is pretty cool. It's I wouldn't give rad. anything for it. It's pretty rad. It's so rad. So rad. I'm not gonna be on for much longer, ladies. I am exhausted. I got you are. Yeah. I slept in this morning, and then I. Alex and I had we had, we didn't have anything in the refrigerator or the pantry like we <laughs> there was nothing so we had to go get get like 
loads of groceries and I hate, I loathe going into the grocery store, oh, but we it. had to do it. And so thankfully Starbucks helped us get through that little ordeal Thanks, Starbucks. and uh, jacked us oh. up on caffeine so we can get through it. Mm. And uh, so we went grocery shopping and I came home. I took, I took like an afternoon shower. Do you ever take like an afternoon shower just yes. because you're done with the yes. day? Yes. You just want to wash just, the day exactly. Off. Yeah. You want to wash the freaking day well, off. Well, you so, know, I mean, coming home from from a kitchen. Well, yeah, that's just, like the, get that whole layer of everything off of you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so like we came home and we had we had to go to two different places because you know one place has the sales where the other one doesn't, and we have coupons. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, hell, let's just go ahead and go to BJ's wholesale, and then we'll go to we'll go to uh, Publix, which is our local grocery store. But uh, we ended up, <laughs> you ever been on vacation and you've had every kind of cuisine known to man and you just get so tired of eating? Mm, yeah. Just, like you don't know what you want. Mm -hmm. And I just said, what about a big like pan seared grilled chicken salad? Like you, you cut up the chicken strips and put a little seasoning on it. And then you just make this big salad with cucumbers and romaine and cherry tomatoes and garbanzo beans and you just pile it all together and just sounds that's your dinner good. yeah that sounds great that's exactly what we had tonight i was like i need a <laughs> detox dinner there's no way i can it's a good i don't want anything it. out i don't want any fast food i don't want to stand and cook all freaking night you know sometimes oh yeah i'll just have like breakfast Publix yeah. is great willie um honestly i would rather have Publix fried chicken any day of the week over any fast food fried chicken you can buy. Nice. And that's 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 over topping Bojangles, Popeyes, any of the big ones. I hate KFC. Can't stand Kentucky fried yeah. chicken. Yeah. There's so many I other mean, better choices. Oh gosh. If I want a heart attack in a in a in in a box, <laughs> that's where I go. There you go. Um, <laughs> I'm from Kentucky and I can't stand it. Yeah, what is the deal with that? It's, there's something wrong with that chicken. It's just unheard of when you have Chicken, it's just a tenders GMO. as the bun of a sandwich. It's just not right. That, Ew. You don't do that. That's that's not what right at all. Love. <laughs> but Publix fried chicken. Oh my gosh! Your first job was at KFC, and he won't eat there. No. Oh, no. I, I. Some of my college roommates worked at the, our local Kentucky Fried Chicken in in Kentucky, where I'm from, and and they were like, "Don't eat here. The chicken, no." Don't eat here. Don't do it. <laughs> so evidently, they would thaw it out overnight and get it ready for the next day. And <gasps> what? Whatever. Yeah. Do so that well, it. you know, the chicken comes in, and you got to thaw it out and get it ready for the next day. So they leave it on these like giant crates, like where it can drip down, and then there's all kinds of like roaches that come in. <gasps> and so the roaches are crawling on top of it, but. To pass safety regulations, as long as it's fried over 350 degrees, all the uh, bacteria is removed. So there is that. Yeah, quote, the roaches unquote. get in the battery, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's so gross. Well, you, gonna... well mealworms <laughs> get into the batter as well, and that's another problem. Who's, no, 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 who, no, no. Oh, who is going to remove that from my mind? <laughs> well, think about that next, next time you pour into the KFC. I mean, don't do it. Not... Well, I can't really eat there anyway. So, Good. Because they they bred everything now. They don't have the uh, unbreaded stuff. And oh, I yeah, never gluten, really you have a gluten allergy, right? I do. Yeah, I'm starting to have a little bit I of a gluten allergy. I think I have allergy. a roach allergy now. Oh, oh good well. lord! I tell you, fast food's not what it's cracked up to be. I know. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> You're welcome, Jeeves. <laughs> Lacey, thank you for subscribing uh, <laughs> after that lovely conversation. High quality content brought to you by. Um, I, geez, I'm not, I'm not lying to you, dude. Ugh, I mean, that's horrible. Right now, that was the standards in the early 2000s because that's when I was in college. I, I've worked at restaurants that um, I'm not saying names at all or locations, but I've, I've been there where there's managers that just don't care. Yeah. And I've worked at two different same chain and it's night and day difference i'm not saying every restaurant's like that but i mean it's kind of sketchy if you yeah have... they have their their qualms for sure <gasps> yeah well it looks like 
the wife and I are preparing for our next big adventure. Ooh. Yeah. Vegas, we'll, right? Yeah, well, not really. No? Uh, we are going two hours and a half north of Vegas. We are booking a cabin in the middle of Zion National Yay. Forest. Oh, wow. So we're going to go and do, you know, all the main attractions of Zion Park. Very nice. We're, so we're doing nine days out west. Um, four nights at a cabin. Four nights in Las Vegas on the Strip. I believe the Mirage, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, very oh, fun very trip. Nice. Going back to Hell's Kitchen? You bet your ass. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, of course, there's going to be some Blue Man in there. I was going to say, yes. I knew there would be a show. And Cirque then are you going to go see... We're going to go see O, Cirque du Soleil. Uh, we're going to go see some Blue Man Group and Absinthe at Caesar's Palace. What is Absinthe? Very nice. It is a avant-garde. Well, they've been on America's Got Talent. If you've never, if you've watched America's Got Talent, look them up. Um, really cool show, though. I've probably seen them and didn't even remember what their name was. Honestly, yeah, because I've seen that stuff. It's but that's the plan, at least. Very cool. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, especially Zion. Yeah, I know you guys love it out there. Oh, yeah. I like the idea of just booking a cabin out into a national park. That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. That's the way to do it. Yeah, it's a little one-bedroom cabin. It's got a little kitchen. Does it, it come supplied with things or do you... no we're gonna to have to supply our own we're gonna to have to do some grocery shopping i'm at like so. um just like cooking equipment and things like oh yeah that. it's got a full-on kitchen range refrigerator um ac hey, nice. uh, fireplace oh very nice um it's a pretty nice ranch the one we're staying on it's zion mountain ranch is very the name cool. of the location we're going to i think but uh, it's full accommodations. But it's just perfect for two people. That's awesome. And we're four miles from the main entrance of the Zion Park, so we can just... Just scoot on over there whenever you're ready. Go on over there. Life is an adventure, I tell you. Indeed, sir. You definitely take advantage of it. Is that a Indeed. fidget spinner? No, it kind of resembles I'm one of them. Kind of looks like a now. fidget spinner. Kind of does look a little bit like that. Um, I'm just mapping out um, in my head how I would do a beadwork pattern, and I'm just kind of straightening this out a little bit. Nice. <laughs> and uh, I had this idea in mind of like a. It's kind of hard to do it, but it's like one color, then another color, then another one, and then starting out with a four petal pattern. But then it's going to have other patterns, you know, around it like this. See, I haven't so done small. much work on a black canvas paper. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and fun. I'm dying to. I need, I've need. i done it's some. It's fun. It's yeah. really nice. It's really nice. Fun. A buddy of mine I, I follow, he lives in Canada. His name is Andy Gill. Mm -hmm. And he does exclusive portraits on black like His parchment. name sounds really familiar. Yeah, Andy wow. Gill, um, he I does all Prismacolor portraits. Very cool. And they're extremely detailed, like Very ridiculous. Beautiful. He spends like weeks on just one piece. Yeah, I wish I That's could afford to do that kind of with thing. But this one is so to really like lost. not force it into one day and kind of spend like a week yeah. whittling away on it and actually putting some detailed effort into it. There you go. Because I haven't... I like projects like that. I mm -hmm. haven't the time to focus that hard on one piece in a long time, so I felt like that would be very therapeutic. It is and I know that mapping it out is, is uh, 
kind of repetitive, but it's key. It'll be fun to to mm -hmm. play with all the colors again and dive deep into the the color pencil world again because you know you guys both know that that's like that's my jam. Uh, and I spent a whole month I with know, alcohol markers, right? so getting back into my my native medium very nice. I like that idea because, um, you know, it kind of makes me want to try it. When I see stuff like that, it's just very inspirational. Yeah. You know, like, let me try that one. Let me yep. try that. that. That's why I was, like, um, telling Jeremy today, like, you know, there's something that is in his wheelhouse, drawing <laughs> superheroes. But, and he talked about, he's, like, trying paint. And then I come across this really cool um, online class that's, painting superheroes i was just is I that right would be perfect for him yeah that would be perfect to get yeah, him introduced in it because he'd have a topic that he's familiar with uh shape wise so he won't be I think, stressing out about getting the shapes right and more on the technique of the medium itself right and it's built and it's made for people trying out acrylic for oh, doing like poster -like that is like images the of, best of learning yeah process I really enjoy it. So it, it's 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 geared for specifically doing you know comic characters and um, you know just the way this guy does them they're just amazing. You know I, just, cool. I just wanted to I was like yeah there you go there's this was this is a way to get into the comics you know. I think we've got a, a sketch here, friends. So I want to see I want to see hold on. Here we go. Oh. Look at there. We've got some some happy Ooh. bear friends. Look at all those gummies. Are you gonna fill it in with other gummies below them or are you Yeah, gonna... there's they're gonna be more like out of focus colors. That so are like not gonna blended. be nearly as defined. Mm -hmm. But once awesome. I get like the main ones in, then I'll start blocking in the background colors. That's so good. I love it. That's cool. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. That'll be beautiful. Yeah, it's <laughs> um this is the source image I'm working off of. <clears throat> so it's it's going to be those colors. Hey, Jay, how are you? What's Glad up, you Jay? Through. What's going on, buddy? Hello from Brunson. Hello. Yummy, yummy. He's my every plate buddy. We, we made um, roasted tomato linguine with the other night and we made the same meal on the same day that's fun every plate and it was every quite delicious matters. i didn't roast my tomatoes though i just <laughs> chopped them up and put them in the sauce which made it a little bit different because i've had it mm. roasted before that's my second time having that meal it's very good mm. very good indeed this All sunday right. they're doing a chocolate there's like chocolate sunday or something Ooh. you had me at the word chocolate yeah, Brenda, the one who joins us. Brenda, Brenda's going to be, I think, the one leading that. They're going to do oh, Brenda chocolate Tappa? together. Yeah. Brenda Tappa. Yeah. I'm excited about oh, what kind of um, chocolate they're coming up with. Joe, did you get um, the email from Tombo about the VIP thing? I did. I actually got it. Oh, did you? I did. Um, and it, that I wanted to play with and I had my eye on anyways, so why not get a couple extra funsy things to go along with it? Nice. Yeah. So it comes with a little fun little foldy thing. And it's like, oh, look, you can do all these fun things with your toys. That's cool. It totally do's. I saw it come in. I think I was away when it came in. I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember. So it was like... But I, I did see it. For this set. So it came, comes with this cool little Tombow notebook with the graphics, graph paper in it, which is nice. And then I already have some of these twin tones that I may give to somebody else. Hey, it's Jeeves. What's Hello. up? Hello. How's it going? Hey, what's up, Mr. Uh, KSD? KSD. <laughs> what a dude. What, what it, it did. did. What it did. <laughs> I had to pick my How'd it be? It's chocolate. Oh, that's been great. Just winding down for a busy weekend. Hi. But otherwise? 
I'm doing great. Jay, you should put you doing DJ stuff. I should what? I couldn't hear you. Jay oh, said that he hasn't picked his chocolate recipe yet. Oh. So I was offering up the suggestion of a chocolate cheesecake. Because that would be good. Um, money, chocolate cheese. What about a uh, fudge brownie? Yeah, but cheesecake. I have a really great fudge brownie recipe. It's actually like a dark chocolate. I mean, there you go. one, I am a up. huge cheesecake fanatic. Me too. Oh. And it's got to be traditionally a New York cheesecake with the brown top. I love that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a, I'm a che little bit of a cheesecake snob, actually. There's only Ooh. certain certain kinds of cheesecake that I'll eat. I won't eat those cheap ones that you unthaw in the freezer. Oh, right. Oh, right. I don't like that good. shit. The Sara That's... Lee crap. You can just keep that. Yeah. That's not cheesecake. I can't cheesecake. eat those. I don't know what that is, but it's not um, cheesecake. Jay, you can put a little bit of uh, some green in those brownies. Um, <laughs> that'd be great. Imagine. Um, that would definitely make your experience interactive. Yeah, um, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, man, um, if you can make like a ganache oh, and yeah. have it just to kind of, nice. you know, spread on top of the cheesecake. Yeah, I like yeah. a ganache, but I also like a, a caramel. A good yeah. Caramel. Oh yeah. Well, I had a job where I made two cheesecakes, different flavored cheesecakes a week, and so I got yeah. I used to do that too. Of the flavors, um, one of my favorites was doing an Oreo cookie crust with um, I've done that white yep. chocolate and raspberry. I've done raspberry, blueberry, mm -hmm. what else ever. And uh, strawberries. Take one of each, please. I think another, yeah, another. I worked at an Italian there. restaurant right off of uh, college Ooh, after I graduated. They know how to school. do raspberry. Oh, they know how to do chocolate. So they had a recipe, and I was the mm -hmm. guy who did all the desserts. So when we get orders and stuff, like I'm the one designing a plate, whatever that? I want. I they gave me the creativity of like nice. designing the plate when you make your. Like when you put a slice of cheesecake on a on a plate. Ooh, I love so that. So me being very creative coming out like of college. Cheesecake. So it's like Did you have a creative yeah. little schmear where you just like yeah. smear the sauce? I use the yeah, coolies and, and little... stuff, depending on what kind of cheesecake it was. Do a little circular. strawberry. I... Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm on. So I make I'm like designs it. like what you do over there on, on paper, but I do it on plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very so we cool. have it on the squeeze bottles and stuff. <gasps> I have coolies. Ooh. Easy you bottles. know, a good chocolatier yeah. knows how to make all those little curls and things, but also like they can. Yeah. Um, I know how to make cream, the, ice the cream. There's and something that we do ice cream. Oh, well, the, the the one that I like is when you do chocolate lace. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's fun. <laughs> wow, we dove Jeez. down a rabbit hole of goodness. <laughs> I used to do all that. I'm loving all it. I know it. Get your chocolate lace ready, there, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Knock their socks off the with little nice curls. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. There's a lady just thinking on about YouTube. it, making my mouth through. There's this lady on YouTube who just makes the most amazing like chocolate stuff. She just shows you all of her techniques and things. It's really, she's really good. I even cooked with uh, chocolate, like in your regular day food. Mm. Like using cocoa and stuff. Oh yeah, like uh, and actual it's real good chocolate. With spicy too. stuff, isn't it? Yeah, you add a little mm -hmm. spice to it, like chicken or fish. Not really mm -hmm. seafood, but just chicken and like meat, like other type of meat. Would like you like steak. make a mole sauce? You know how to yeah, like a mole sauce Ooh. and stuff. Yeah. Okay, what time is dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I know. What I told them that too. I was like, can you please just like Uber? <laughs> Uh, I like to be creative. Very cool. I used to do uh, like competitions and stuff. Really? Before. That's awesome. Yeah, for competitions. Like, I used to be in like competitions where I made gingerbreads. I have pictures of it somewhere. Mm -hmm. I have to look for it. And I also, you know, uh, vegetable lard. They come in like blocks. And we used to yeah. take that. We build uh, wood out of like the shape of whatever we want to make. Mm -hmm. And I made a swan for a buffet table. <laughs> and uh, we carved all, it was, it's uh, the most messiest thing to do but it's fun we carved it's like, the, uh, it's like carving with butter <laughs> with, yeah, you know, like butter sculptures so we have like wood inside of like it something you'd do in Texas <laughs> and then we uh, sculpted yeah That's it turns out and then we use hair dryers and stuff and get that smooth look 
That's fun. Yeah, it sounds like fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yep. Hmm. Cheesecake. This is how this all started. That was the gateway. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. And chocolate. You're welcome. Chocolate I join all of this. <laughs> talking, please. All right. Mm-hmm. And they called it Cheesecake Factory. I definitely love a good ganache. I love a good ganache too. You yeah. know what? I uh, my favorite thing is the one where it's like, um, oh, what's it called? I already forgot the word for it. You know the shiny where it's like a glossy like glass ganache. <laughs> what it's called? Oh, the shiny. Ganache. Yeah, the glossy looking. I don't know. The yeah, name I, for, I know what it's. I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's. I think it's. That it might just be called glass ganache. I don't, I don't know. think I've ever seen glass ganache. Oh, when you have a cake and it's perfectly smooth, it's and you put this ganache on it, and it just yeah. kind of like. Did you eat it too? It's shiny. It stays shiny, and yeah. it's. It's got like glycerin or something in it, and yeah. it's just it's just like a you could see your you could see your face in it. Okay. Lick it, it's yours. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd like this leaf. I change it. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a name for it. I forgot what it's called. It's 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 something you just have to perfect. It's one of those chocolatier kind of. Oh yeah, you gotta Stills. keep it warm, so it's still be syrupy, or otherwise it become hard. Well, yeah, and it and it becomes lumpy, and then therefore it's no longer smooth. Good, yeah. So it's kind of like a. It's a technique. split chocolate ganache. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, maybe if I do it like this. The secret is don't scramble your freaking eggs. Don't otherwise scramble you split all it. the eggs. Oh yeah, everything. Because you egg whites, right? I mean, uh, egg yolks. Yep, you gotta have everything at the right temperature. Yep. You make a bad memory. We have scrambled it. Start whisking your hand. Oh, it hurts. You gotta have a good hand. (laughs) That's pretty good. I have my days. Yay. I used to work at a breakfast joint and we make a homemade holiday sauce. Oh, man. Every morning trying to make that and whisking the. Damn. That is a oh, bit much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it is tasty I, when you I, get it. I mean, it's really tasty. Yeah. But you make fresh. I've had hollandaise sauce that wasn't quite so great, too. That, that can turn you You off. know why? Because they use pre made, like, like the uh, powder stuff and they yeah, make it out of that. Gross yeah, stuff. no. Yeah, so you no. have to make it yourself. I, I you got to go get Benedict. That's like the, the sauce is made mm. on spot. Yep. Oh, like, yeah. The place I worked at every morning, we make that fresh. Mm. It's fresh stuff. I like a good made sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I was in culinary school, we got to learn like different types of sauce and we made them all. So To master a, a sauce is like the best thing, next best thing to be in the head. You had to yeah. you know, cook because you pretty much are the go-to person, you know. For any menu. Yeah, your white sauce, your brown sauce, your this sauce, your spaghetti sauce, your tomato sauce. Oh, it's so many names. I love sauces. I love sauces. I love yeah. very saucy. Yeah. yeah, I love sauces too myself. I don't like nothing dry. You need some yeah. sauce on that. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep it moist. Gotta make it wet. Wet and moist. Moist. Gotta be moisty, you know, moisty. <laughs> Bob, Bob heard that part. He's like, moist. <laughs> what are you talking about? When I used to be on Periscope, and we used to say moisty, and people used to hate us for that because that's like the grossest word. <laughs> what moisty? You stop saying that. I'm like, okay, whatever. Lost TV. Don't that like, he's a, an artist that does it in the morning. He's like, Ding. he goes, Haps needs a moist award. And they're like, no. <laughs> what? He yeah, meant, no. What he meant was, what he, what he meant was um, like a hydrate award like they have on Twitch. But he could oh, yes, the yes, moist yes. award. The, the water. He goes, is that a bad Drinks. thing? Is there something bad about saying that? <laughs> it's a hydrating award. He thought he just meant moist. You need a moist award. <laughs> no, I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alrighty, 
Everybody fell asleep or what? I don't know. Comments was going crazy and now it's like what? Just looking on eBay and stuff. Sleepy awesome. chat all night. But I'm actually getting ready to go to bed, fellas. Oh. I just cool. woke up from a nap. Fine, that's fine. Yeah. So I'm going to be up. Well, you guys have a good night. I might try to be hey. online um, later tomorrow night um, after the movie. Um, cool. Movie's Ooh. at 7, so. Nice. I'm going to go see Black Widow. Nice. Oh, Lisa, yeah. Gonna go good choice. Eat. I'd like well, to go. To yeah, we're going preview movie. night. Nice. So, nice. But uh, I'll try to drop that into the folder, Lindsay, right quick, the Ghostbusters movie. That sounds awesome. All Thank right. You, you guys have a good night. You too, Later. Rambling, rambling, gambling man. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Take care. Bye. Bye. Have a lovely day. It's nice having him back. I know. I missed him. Here, Jeeves, you can come up here with us. Summon all your followers. Summon all my followers. <laughs> I don't know who. All the minions that follow you. All the minions. All of your minions. Yo, minions, get in here. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I'm here. Yo. He's here. Mm. Come, <laughs> little children. Okay. Come and play with us. Okay, let's check this together. <laughs> like a horror movie. <laughs> Children, come and play with us. Come and play with <laughs> us. That sounds like a creep <laughs> now. Come and play with us. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, you sound like that clown from It. When, you, <laughs> when you're doing that laugh. Thank you. Yeah. Man. I don't like clowns. I hate, I hate, well, after watching that movie, mm. uh, seeing all the clowns, no, it creeps me out. Very creepy. <laughs> I, I saw the old one, right? So, freaked me out. I don't movie kids. watcher. I mean, I'm aware of them. I just volunteer to not watch them. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you're not into horror movies then? No. I love horror movies. Me and my sister. I like, it. I like it when love. they make me laugh. <laughs> they make you me know? chubby. No, and I love I don't horror movies. Like that. Like watching Chucky as a little kid uh, and not touching your dolls for two weeks. Like my two husband weeks. and I were dating. My yeah. husband and I were dating. Um, he insisted that I watch Saw. Yes. I That's not movies. the kind of movie I'm into. I can tell you that right now. Because it's, um, it's just bloody I was gore. in the fetal position crying, begging to make it stop. Before oh, it was my. Over. I really did not. Not a fun thing. No. Yeah. That was a whole bunch of nope. Yeah. No, thank the you. Whole bunch of nope. The trend hasn't even ended yet for the Saw. There's another one just came out. I know. They keep doing that. Craziness. <laughs> Even after the guy's death. I don't get it. In the movie, not in real life. Jigsaw. Yeah. Apparently, somebody's running it. Let's see if I can so do this. Strange. Thing. Very strange. <laughs> One of these days, I might actually get really into this. And do like templates so that they're even and symmetrical and all that bozo business. No, mm, it's okay. Yeah. You want it to be authentic. I do. Authentic. Well, no, I mean like like it's circles and things that are like, like a you snowflake. Know. Yeah, you can use a uh, what is it? A, comp a compass. I have what a call compass, that? but it doesn't seem like it's very. I mean, it's a cheapy one. Maybe oh. that's the deal. Because it's like it doesn't seem very accurate. That's <laughs> like, fine. I <laughs> no, I mean I'm just doing organic shapes anyway, so yeah. I'm just gonna try this. I'm just trying out this technique with the uh, the whole well, dot, dot painting to look like beadwork kind Whoa. of thing. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh my notifications. My Instagram never stops. Is, going? is uh, Christy Belcourt. Hey, Hannah, how's it going? It's been a while. 
Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Hannah's Hannah been Holly. busy working Hello, on Ruby. new puppet. Oh, Hannah's the uh, Hannah, Hannah's the puppeteer, right? Yeah. She's I've got new puppets. puppets. That was fun. Yeah. She was making some other puppet the other day. Nice. Kind of cool. Right, Hannah? Yeah. What was it called? Devereaux! Hey. You just missed Joe. Dev, Dev, Dev. <laughs> you just missed Joe. Dev, oh, Joe just missed Dev. Joe just left. Yeah, Joe is t tuckered out. He's all tuckered out. He popped in to say hello out for a minute and had to go tuck up, tuck that himself really in. Nice. He's uh, in a while. uploading a video before he goes to bed. <laughs> For the pop -ex. I was yeah. not expecting him to come in. Oh, tomorrow's pop -ex? Missed you too, buddy. It's been a few days. Sunday. Um, our red coming weekend is Ghostbusters. So Joe is nice because it's anywhere without being rented. Uh, right. And he kindly allows us for the week. Nice. If we don't already have it available in our own. Well, which Ghostbuster are you watching? Huh? The original. The the OG. The it's one? Retro Rewind. 1984. Oh, the first. The one, the only. Yes, the best. Right. That was a fresh the first, first. Ghostbusters. That's You've never cool. seen Ghostbusters. Does that make you a bad human? No. Tell you what, Dev. You've never seen Ghostbusters. I'll send you the link this week, and you can uh, you get serious? in on that action, bro. How come you never seen that? That's like Why classic. Me the link. I am the gatekeeper. The other day, I was <laughs> watching something on Netflix, and they were talking about how Kermit came through and Ghostbusters, and who did all the songs and stuff. And it was kind of cool that they were talking about Ghostbusters, and this mm -hmm. black guy. Apparently, did the song, wrote the song. The director came up to him and said, "Hey, can you design a song for Ghostbusters?" And that's how it came. Well, apparently, this guy's the guy who did know, the Caribbean or... Queen. The, the the same guy yeah. who did Caribbean Queen. Yep, I forget yeah. what his name is. Just, um, Billy Ocean. Thank you. Yes. Dev, you're Billy missing Ocean. out. It's like, how 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 are you allowed to live in this country and have not seen it? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Turn in your citizenship, sir. <laughs> we may have to put hey, they you even in have the parody in Stranger Thing where the kids wore the costume too. Right? Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, Proton pack. There's a connection. Everything. Yes. So many pop culture references here. Yep. All right. So kind of <laughs> damn. Dev, I can't believe. I can't believe. It's okay, Dev. We can still catch up and watch it. No worries. Well, I don't like hockey. Does that make me less Canadian? Ooh. Um, I didn't know <laughs> no. that hockey's and Canadians were a thing. No. Hmm? Hockey and Canadians? I didn't yeah, know that. Go together. Oh, hockey. I thought you said coffee. I was so confused for a half second. <laughs> hockey. Trevor Sorry, Linden, I'm just man. dead. Oh, oh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to try the bigger one. Haley says, nothing wrong with that? Make you less Canadian. Not it's really. okay. There's people here that don't like football, and that she should said, be yes, like. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, football. I, was, I love football. When I was. When I was people that I don't like. Uh, College and high school football. <laughs> I think they would be kicked out if they admitted to it. Yeah, what's 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 really up with like all football. your uh, all your uh, uh, football players become criminals? Hey, <laughs> we raise, actually, you know what? We we pluck them out of Texas. That's the problem. There we they, go. They come and play play at OU for tech um, from Texas most of the time. Oh. Some of them are from around here, but a lot of them. Sad. They become targets or they become criminal. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I guess money makes them crazy. I don't know. I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's the culture. 
Maybe. If you think about it, it's uh, most of those families aren't rich starting off. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. So that's like a huge culture shift to adjust mm -hmm. to. Right. A lot of different stresses and stuff. So. Yeah. At least it, yes, it does. Not to make. <laughs> it makes me less. It makes me less. Uh, it makes her less can Canadian for not liking hockey. Canadian, for not liking yeah. hockey. Canadian. You know, when my when I was pregnant with I was pregnant with my son and we'd watch hockey. I mean, uh -huh. there's the boy would just be kicking, <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, Sorry. I'm giving birth to a <laughs> hockey player, but thankfully he didn't get into it either. So. Oh, he didn't. No, thank goodness. It's such an expensive. I used to play street thing. hockey all the time. I, when I, was a kid. I did not want to be. Dude, football's one of those expensive too. Moms. You don't even know how much money I dropped on Amazon today. Okay. You don't even know. I did not want to um, be a hockey mom. Seriously. See, football was so expensive that none of the high school ran football because it's too expensive. So they did rugby instead of football. That's the closest thing to football. Mm. So I played rugby. Makes sense. Uh, throughout. Well, I mean, whole high school. I mean, it's, a, it's a commitment, right? Players. You have to practice early, practice late. I mean, yeah, games, the older you get, the more practice traveling. you get to do. I have a oh, yeah. friend who's got a really talented hot kid playing hockey. Like, like he's going to do something with that, you know. He's going to be somebody. Oh, my God. The expense, the traveling. What about well, MBA? You can do fundraising and get scholarships and stuff, but yeah, that is mm -hmm. not a cheap sport. Well, that's kind of how he's doing it because he is so talented. There's people mm -hmm. actually, you know, supporting what he does. Oh, wow. So, um, but I'm just thinking, like, oh, couldn't imagine doing that. Could not imagine doing <laughs> that. Okay. Found the highlights. How right. dark are we going here? Oh, Hannah hasn't out. seen it also? Hannah? I could Hannah read in the comment. Seen... Oh. Ghostbuster. <gasps> Either. What? Hannah, Two you're puppeteering. You have not seen that. Not seen? Hannah, are you what? still in here? Slimer is literally a puppet. <laughs> so is the. Wow. Yeah. I think you know somebody. Okay. <laughs> I've seen all of them. All right. Okay. Hold on one second. Hey, what am I holding on to? Pain. What is the difference between these two colors? Literally. Hardly anything. What is your name? Mm, I'm liking this music. Dark red. That's helpful. Is Can you hear it? Is it too quiet? No, I like it. It's like pretzel rocks or something. Okay. What is this? No, this is um, cyberpunk gaming mix. Yes. That's fine. It's coming in the book. YouTube. Wait, I need to. I like it. Wait, I need to what? Who? Oh, sorry about that. That was Kendra. Oh, gotcha. Hi, Kendra. Uh, Hi, she's Kendra. gone. She's like, I have to listen to the music. Bye. And she just hangs up. Bye, Kendra. She didn't even say bye. She's like, I have to listen to the music. Click. <laughs> she does that all the time to me. I'm used to it now. So. <laughs> you guys have a strange relationship. I know. We do totally. I had a great grandmother that <laughs> when, um, I had a great grandmother that if you call her up, she didn't say hello and she picked up the phone and she didn't say goodbye. It was really kind of funny. And or Actually, she my mom did you, that. If if she called you, you had to pick it up by the third ring or she was done. Like she just it was sort of like mm -hmm. you're on the other you, I'm calling you, you're supposed to be on the other end kind of thing. Like, you know. Yeah. And you pick up the phone and she'd just start talking. <laughs> like, <dang. laughs> yeah. like uh, who is this? But we do. My mom does that all the time to me because she knows she's calling me. So I'm having dinner at talk. six. Click. <laughs> that's like okay. <laughs> uh, Dad, I think that's uh, gross. That's not as gross, but. Um... Hey, Grandma. 
If anyone Does else, else runs run stop signs in the middle of the night, because I'm just blowing through stop signs right now. Ooh, um, I at least do a slow roll. I'm just blowing no, through stop I don't signs think right now. I do a full blow. Damn. True. That sounds a bit dangerous. Living on it here. is. Especially if you're texting us at the same time. I know. And I'm going to text you guys no. while I go through stop signs. Oh, <laughs> we don't hear from you in the next message. We're going to wonder, where did he go? What happened? Yeah, he got pulled over. It's completely... <laughs> or, or worse. Mm -hmm. Completely safe. Are you sure about that? Oh, I don't know. Nice. If you did that here and a cop was around, oh man, you get a $600 fine. Busted. Mm. <laughs> You're totally positive. Okay, I'll be positive. Sorry, I'll take that back. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why, but I get this. I get this thing where oh, I start a home. conversation. Okay, I start a conversation, and then I just like twist it into some kind of dark, morbid thought. Yeah, I know. I do it's that really all the weird. time. I don't think it's you're really alone. I'm a very positive person. I'm, I'm a positive person. I think happy thoughts. I'm a super happy yeah, thoughts of the time. I am. But you gotta but think of like, the negatives too. But then it's like, hey, do you ever think, you know, like if you. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you ever do you think, think that, that maybe that guy over that there, point? he doesn't want money, he wants to, like, you know, take me to one Beat of those, you like, up. Like, like, like Saw, like, they, you know, take your liver or something? You know, Dad, oh, there is a like, don't, don't uh, trigger you. invite with your name on it, bro. Well, you just got home, apparently. Oh, like, just now, just now? Wait, he wasn't driving and texting at the same time. I hope not. <sighs> it might be dark, but not so know, much. Baby. That's what I was saying. Morbid? <laughs> it's like, if we don't, we don't hear from him, <laughs> we're going to think the worst happened. Nice yeah. smelling you. Did she nice smelling you? <laughs> Nice you snowing you. Nice snowing you. Yep. yep, I wasn't driving and texting, but snowing. driving and telling someone, someone to text. text. Uh, Yo, dang. you could just use the uh, voice thing and just text, like voice text. There you go. I you do know? that all the time. If you have an oh. iPhone, you can push that uh, button and say stuff. The only we'll problem it has is it doesn't like recognize oh, my voice in English. It like comes up with weird <laughs> words. It's worse than my auto you know, autocorrect when yeah. I type. It's like that's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I said at all. Oh, you have you have Android. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Android you have Android too. <laughs> too. <laughs> I don't <laughs> don't don't want to have an uh, Google Mini too, so don't worry. Not in the looks. That's funny. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Brandon Clay is here. Is that a glove? Um, it's actually I it doesn't get all over my hands. It's more <laughs> about not getting it on my skin than smearing it on the paper. Um, kind of he saying both? sorry about? Yes. And no. Sorry, sorry. What's he sorry about? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. What? Google is a bit sorry. sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry. Come again? What? He's asking a question. Sorry? Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Please cl clarify that. Hey, Brendan. How's it going, man? So what's going been on happening there? on HAPS in the last week or so? I've really been away from the app a lot. Um, I haven't been watching replays or anything. Me, Any me neither. Announcements or anything other than you know, no, we're um, not taking a cut of the pie of your sponsorships. Like, okay. Yeah, uh, there was a minor update that they removed the preview for chat for links, so they should post faster. Oh, yeah. so you don't have like a video playing? In yeah, the like comments. the hyperlinks. I think are gonna take yeah. less time to load. Thank God, but um. Yeah, they do take forever. But I just remember going like, why do we have to watch this entire video of YouTube in the comments while we're trying to watch a broadcast? Yeah, that, that so player is exactly. gone. They've disabled it's a that. a lot of energy. It just seems like it takes it would take a lot of energy. 
you know, 43 has made me it. very sleepy. So I haven't been around a lot. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, his age. He just had a birthday recently. Oh, oh happy even. birthday. I totally forgot about your birthday, man. I'm so much older than that. Don't even. <laughs> it's been a busy week for me. I've been, I've been popping in and out. <laughs> I've been taking naps like every day. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> are you uh are you obeying all the uh traffic uh i don't know the traffic no, no absolutely not absolutely not no yeah <laughs> like, no hell no there's like, there's, 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 there's a time why they make my traffic obeying me there's a time limit for my traffic obeying it's like if there's no one on the road and i'm at a stop day, why am i stopped there's no one here i can't hit anyone exactly <laughs> it was like Bob today. We was like, goes, oh, I forget this only this is only a right turn. Well, we're gonna make it into a left turn. I'm like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Great job. Thanks. So where where I get my like traffic sense from is probably not the best in the world. Um, I was watching that um, True American Crimes, and it was about uh, I think it was Ted Bundy. No, it wasn't Ted yeah. Bundy. It was um, the Unabomber, oh. and he was talking about like how like. If you are an American and you're at a stoplight and there is no one around for miles and miles and miles, you stop. For what? What is your purpose of stopping? The color uh, red? That's why you're stopping? Because if you're stopping because you're being safe and there's no one around for miles, then technically the red color of the light doesn't matter. Like it was a whole like hodgepodge of stuff though. <laughs> wow. Very I'm an anarchist now. No, I'm there you go. Yay. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> You're an anarchist. Now. <laughs> how are you, Lindsay? I, I feel like I haven't seen you on the line for a while. I know. It's been a couple of days. My husband's been off work for holiday and just kind of spending some extra family time with them and him and the kids. Right. Uh, went swimming in-laws and had really good food at my parents house on the fourth and uh you know a couple of naps went to bed early a couple of nights what <laughs> right what is sleep um everybody's turning into an old person like me now i'll take a nap <laughs> and i cannot lie naps are bay uh, naps are <laughs> they bay. are bay um <laughs> i got a new phone yesterday not to, uh, a reason for my absence, but it did happen while I was gone. Yes, nice. But yeah, just taking a little, you know, family. Husband was like, um, "Are you not going to be on your computer? You haven't been on there in like forever." I was like, <laughs> and I'm choosing to spend my time with you. Let's not complain about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, guys. It's Haley. I was Hi. not in the room to respond, but going back to the whole driving thing, this yeah. is where relationships balance each other out. This one is the one that'll run all the stop signs. Meanwhile, I'm treating the double yellow line on the freeway like a wall. <laughs> <laughs> if I cross it, I will crash it. Let's right? not do it. Like she nice. will not go into the carpool lane to there save her life unless it is a dotted line to cross over into. Whereas for me, I'm enough. like, no there's girl. traffic, get over. Those lines are <laughs> optional. I gotcha. Whatever. That's funny. That's so funny. I drive like a granny. told so. me it was a wall. It's a wall. <laughs> it's a wall. <laughs> of doom. But that's also Lindsay. Yeah. So that's where I've been. I've been around, like, you know, in the chat saying hi to peeps and keeping tabs. I've done stuff. I just haven't been broadcasting on my channel as much the last couple of days. And I was telling them, I was like, um, I kind of need to go live. And I actually have something to do. I, I decided that I'm going to take on a little bit different style of art to kind of get back to what I used to do nice. in um, picking up those color pencils again yeah. and uh, do a, a piece that takes a little more time and concentration. So Obviously, I'm not going to be finishing a whole piece in one sitting. It's going to be probably a couple of sessions just hanging out and, and working the colors and blending and, and adding the dimension in that takes a little more time. Kind of similar to what Des does, except she 
she's the master of all masters. I'm not even going to compare myself to her because she's just so good. Yeah, she but, is. Um, she, she likes to take her time. And she does, and I don't have really really into much realism. Yes. Yeah, realism. Well, a lot of it is that she's doing realism, and so that's yeah. that's a totally different mindset. And personally, it's like my hats off to anybody who can do it. It's just I just don't have the wheelhouse in my brain. Well, mine's going to be like real, real, so. full because I don't have that many hours <laughs> in my life I want to spend on gummy bears. Realism for ADD. Yeah, <laughs> fill that's in the really blanks, too- people. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Y'all get it. It's jaded. But uh, yeah, to that's be, kind to be of honest, where I'm I at with there's, this. There's some great artists that were like that, you know, a lot of great artists. So we'll see how far I get. Like and Wall. right now, I'm just kind of laying down, mapping out colors. Um, that's awesome. And we'll just take it one step at a time. Because I'll probably be so sick of this by the time I get like the fourth bear done that I'll be like, <laughs> screw it, <laughs> screw yeah. it, just color yeah, it in like a coloring that. book and call it a day. I could definitely understand that. that no, okay. I'm going to try to make a comparison here and, and let okay. me know if I'm, if I'm on base or if I'm coming out of complete left field. You're but, completely out of left field. <laughs> oh, 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 you didn't want me to. Oh, I have to wait. Okay, okay I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> so as you were saying, the, the, what, I, what I'm getting here from, from you is the tediousness of doing this. By the fourth bear, you're going to be done. But the question that I have is this. Would you try to compare it to a dancer learning a dance in that type of situation of tediousness where it's like you're you're kind of at least for dancers we get kind of tired of hearing the same song for too damn yeah. long I, um, I think that's a very fair compare. um it's going to be very similar because i mean the colors may change but the blending techniques is going to be the same uh yeah. the bare face are not going to change just the angle and the shape of their body is going to be going a different direction uh so yeah, by the time I get the white one, the yellow one, the orange one, and the green one done, I'm going to have to start all over the ones that are left over, plus all of the background ones that are kind of buried behind and kind of um, focused so you don't see their details, but their color shapes are still there. And so you're going to have to worry about the gradients that are underneath the bears. You do the top bears. So it's like, good Lord, that's a lot of bears. It's a whole forest of bears. And so I'm going to be seeing bears <laughs> in my sleep by the time I get this piece done. So it's more of kind of like a, in a sense, it's an adu- in, endurance and uh, kind of just, a, hey, Christine, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, like a dancer hey, practices Christine. the same song over and over again. And every time they practice it, they get a little bit better. Or they they get a, a choreography a little bit smoother than they did the first time the first couple of times are clunky and then you start getting into your groove it's going to be the similar thing here Um, my first bear is going to be kind of clunky as i'm getting starting back into the rhythm and how the mediums meld together and plus these pencils are actually a brand new of polychromos which behave slightly different than what um my prismacolor pencil set behaves like and i could have very easily gone with those because i have all the colors but it's a set that I've been having sit on my shelf staring at me and I've only a very Ooh. tiny amount of them. And so I'm like, okay, right. it's time to get them out, break them in. Yeah. They're, a little, they're right. made up a little bit differently, but they're going to behave very similarly to how my other set works. That's absolutely awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I love, and I'm glad that you, you, you kind of like wrapped it up with that, with, with, with the fact that you're trying a new. A like new breaking set. in a new pair of. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like I feel like we as creatives, we kind of try to shy away from I don't want to say expanding our horizons because we're afraid, but like in a sense of like it's something new, you know what Staying I mean? Staying in like, those comfort zones. Yeah. And it's yeah, like pushing love, through and breaking yeah. out breaking out and doing things that may not be right just out of the way. Well the exactly. way the way I the way I look at it is there's two things that, you know, tend to keep us from doing something new or different or trying something or just um you know we we get into these habits um of what we're comfortable doing you know and but then there are times when it's like okay i'm kind of getting you know like i don't i'm not inspired or whatever it is and the other one is just um we haven't tried something new we haven't learned something new 
And so we need to learn uh, like a learning gap. So those are the two major ones. That's why I love this whole idea of art challenges, why I love sketching mm -hmm. with people yeah. and why I yeah. felt like, you know, like when I first started you know, doing this whole sketch party thing, I was like, yeah, let's just like get together and talk about, I love that, you know, not, there's a lot of different things that f fit under those two things right there, learning gaps and mm -hmm. habits. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. for me, you know, when it comes like, I, I, I love to just dwell on portraits. So I'm okay with not going beyond portraits because there's so much to explore just in that. But yeah. I mean, I have different modes of, or or you know processes on like you know you got um the slow and steady realism you know taking your time all of that depending on what medium medium you're using there's a huge difference between drawing a portrait and painting a portrait for example and then there is this other side of me that just wants to do something more expressive something quick okay. something rendered and just you know in the moment you know, and I was getting to this point where, I mean, for the last few years, I was like, you know, sketching a portrait within a half an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I realized I was like developing some bad habits. So I kind of went back when I started doing the haps thing. I started going like, let's take some time. You know, I don't do that often enough. Like, look, which is exactly what Lindsay's talking about. Like, I don't do that enough and enough. Or there's, it's just calling to me to do it. Like, your little pencils were going like, Lindsay, remember yes, us? You're calling to Lindsay, me. Lindsay, come play, play with us. Come play, with, play with us. Oh, That's here we go. Awesome. That's Jeeves again. Come, come play with me. us. <laughs> come take you away. Oh. Jeeves, you are muted, by the way, brother man. What? What did he do? <laughs> he's talking to Kendra. What's going on there? Oh, okay. <laughs> he's I was just going to say he's got he's a talking to Kendra on the other, other, other side. Gotcha. Okay. I was like, I see your mouth moving, but I don't hear it. Oh. <laughs> try out this gotcha. Room. Gotcha. Well, mm -hmm. I am going to head out of here. Lindsay, Michelle, and mm -hmm. Jesus, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> thank you for inviting me. You're uh, welcome. For y'all that are watching, please, please, please remember to subscribe to all of these awesome people because they're awesome <laughs> and not because I'm saying they're awesome, but because they actually are awesome. <laughs> so. Please subscribe, so sponsor, check out their lives, and Yay. yeah, I'll head out of here. Thanks You're again. You're amazing. Right. Thanks, Thanks you Stay buddy. safe and stop cruising through those stop signs. Yes. <laughs> it's the color red. What happens nope. when you see the color red? Let's get that color red trigger. Go here. faster. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Go back to those habits. Middle to the middle. Bye, friends. I'll Bye. be in the Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love what Christine says. She goes, I'm not artistic or crafty, but I know all about comfort zones. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we all have to do that. There's well, so much that we all... talk about as creatives, you know, that, that they really can apply to anything in life, really. Yeah. You know? I think we all have problems. a way of being creative, whether it's you have a knack for being super organized is a way of being mm -hmm. just in a more mathematically thinking way. Um, I mean, I get a huge amount of satisfaction with organizing things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that was one of that the things I was trait. looking for, actually, when I got to do the tour of the kitchen. Sort camera. That I've you done. sort yourself How out. I hate this there. pixel crap. No. No, There's how organized bears. someone is in their kitchen, it, it really is, speaks volumes of the workplace. You know, bear, gummy bear, save me, in. gummy bear. Disarray. Save me, gummy bear. I, think I doubt it. Save me. I think like a dark blue. Don't I? Jeez, I'm gonna scoot you off until you get done with Kendra there, buddy. Oop, he's getting right. scooched. Well, he's getting just scooched. a big old blur blob. Blur blob. I just see a blobby face. I just see a see a blobby yeah. face. I'm just a big blur blob. What's he doing? You're not, now you have the show, Michelle. Bye. No, I'm kidding. Is it just me? <laughs> oh. No. I was hoping that taking off or I'm shifting so something hard. around would um, sort things, but it's not. So. No. That's what it is. Oh well. Um. Well. I, I an guess Haps is blending my colors for me, aren't they? Good Thanks. Lord. Thanks, Haps. You're you're the real MVP. Good Lord, 
For a minute there, I thought that was my eyesight. I'm going to have to get some. No. Oh, okay, good. It cleared up. Look at that. That's better. There we go. There Yay. it is. There it is. <gasps> Look at how shiny that gummy bear looks. He's very shiny. Shiny. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just switch it up. You know, it's funny. I'm like, oh, World Watercolor Month. And then it's like, oh, I want to draw this portrait. It's like, oh, I want to like work with these. Yeah, it's I watercolor. Acrylics. I got to play with these acrylics. You know, but. Actually, I think I'm going to do a serious art binge. Oops, I got paint all over my fingers. How did that happen? I'm going to do a serious art binge in the next few days, I think. Get it out of your I've system just, before you have you to know, focus on new well, stuff. Yeah, well, like I think the thing stuff. is, you know, I've been so mentally um, prepared for, you know, talking. I mean, I've been, like, marketing myself, really. Yeah. And that, and and that, and talking about myself and my skills and blah, 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 blah. And then I come home and it's so hot and it's just like oh, I just want to crash and then I get up and it's like Ugh. so I have been I have been doing sketching and then I have been doing some of the painting but it, it it's not like it's Ooh, good the question, same then. you know. Dev is asking well. if I am a beginner sketcher, what is one thing you would warn me about? Um, Lord. you're thinking we get inside our yeah, heads just, just way too quickly yeah. and instead of just flowing and, and letting it kind of organically come together you're criticizing yourself around every corner <laughs> you may not necessarily do as well your first round because you're like oh my god that straight line sucks oh my god I can't draw oh my god this and oh my god that and I'm like you do sometimes yeah. I think we forget that we have an eraser available for your pencil to start over again and um, being comfortable with not getting it right the first time even the most experienced artists no, yeah. don't get it right the first time <laughs> well the, the, the thing I would add to that is um it's not like, you know, when you lay down a line, that's not the only line you have. Like, like that's right. it. Like, um, I draw over my lines more than once. I mean, you, you can even see in this wonky thing, you know, like, I don't care if it's not perfect. Yeah. Caring too much about, you know, the first things you're doing, you know, the, the idea the is to just get lost, get away from that negative voice and just get lost in actually moving your pencil. So just keep your pencil moving. Yeah, you know, Just no keep matter going what you're forward. doing, you may not and, like it out the, but yeah. eventually you'll. Uh, the more you work it, hopefully you'll you'll find, and start getting into the groove. I of mean, it. yeah, yeah. Just you know, That's and if it doesn't thing. look like Sorry. something that you have your in your head, you know, it, you shouldn't you shouldn't worry about what it's supposed to look like. Just yeah. let it look like the way it is. You know, and be okay with that. There's always the next drawing. There's always the next thing. You learn from something. You know, I think a lot of times there's a lot of comparison. I think that's one of the things, like, when you're in a room full of people, you know, you're a young person and you're in a class and everybody's drawing, of course you're looking at everybody else's stuff. I feel you know? like we stand in our own yeah. way a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. At least that's for me. Like, it even true. the reference... Well, even the reference photo, it doesn't have to look... If, if you get upset if it doesn't look like the thing that you're trying to draw. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's just being done from your hand, so that's what it's supposed to look like. And you can always draw over it. You can draw it again. You can erase and start over. You can draw a second one. There's really no wrong way to go about drawing other than to stop. Right. Stopping is the only right. thing to just, you know, give up on it. Because it's really... Just a bunch of little things broken down into small parts. It's really doable. That's why they have all these exercises and things. They're like, first try this. Cross hatching. Do, 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 yes. do. Try this. A little yeah. bit. Just push it a little harder on the pencil. You know, oops, low battery. Whoops. Oh, oops. Ooh, I'm going to have to plug hurry, in. Hurry, plug her in. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> the only problem is I'm going to lose my, my headphones. So, yeah. No, uh, fix okay. it, Jesus. That's okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But then you start hearing everything. You might hear me fart. <laughs> I'm uh, farting. Okay. 
That's oh, natural. It's actually just a burp that came out the wrong end. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to plug in. All righty. Hey. We'll be right here. I don't know. I think no, um, my biggest hurdle was getting over my own mind when I was learning to draw my own insecurities really prevented me from even making a single mark on the paper. That's really, what? it's a mental game <laughs> at that point of you're not going to get anywhere, not any learn or grow or do anything without starting. And that was literally my hardest lesson to learn. Well, um, I, <clears throat> there was a reason on Saturday when on my list I said fail. Mm -hmm. You need to fail. Be comfortable Spend some with time failing. failing. It's just like a roller skater doesn't know how to do because all those Because that's cool how tricks. you learn anything. Like a skateboarder doesn't right. know how to do all those school tricks. Tony Hawk, how many times does he fall? Seriously. Time. Right. He fails over and over and over again until he turns those failures into some cool trick. A cool trick again. Yeah. And he fails again, but it mm -hmm. doesn't stop him. He keeps right. on doing it over and over again to where he perfects it and get, gets comfortable failing mm -hmm. so that he can control the failure and turn it into a success. Yep. Exactly. It is to your success. That, Tony Robbins. It's, it's, a, it's a teacher. It's such a good <laughs> teacher. If you're not failing, then you're not really learning. Yeah, you're doing it right. You know? Um, you have I've to be out of your both... comfort zone to learn and grow. Yeah, and I've had um, have the challenge. Then it's good. I've had two teachers doing teaching me two different things that told me the same thing. Um, one was um, uh, a pottery, uh, like throwing on the wheel, learning how to throw mm -hmm. on the wheel. Yeah. She said, um, "Make fifty pots, and on pot fifty one, that's your first pot." You know, okay. so it was a matter of repetition, like just, just throw, just, just throw like it and in then the motor skills smush it down required. and do it again and smush it down and do it again and smush it down yeah. and do it again. Like you, I like the you first right. 50 pots are not going to, you're not going to keep any of them. It's the, it's the 51st one, which will be your actual first pot. And you know what? There was something about it. I did it. And then I had um, uh, a Chinese teacher was teaching um he had a method of learning the characters you know and all the stroke order and all the calligraphy and all of that but his method of teaching the characters was do the do those characters 50 times for each one as you're learning them and mm -hmm. as you're learning them you're <laughs> saying the word yeah you're I thought that was brilliant that was really it. good yeah, it's muscle memory. It, a lot of it yeah, was just like, like not thinking. It was like letting your hands do the thinking yeah. in both of those situations. You know? Uh, you you so know what thing that's also yeah. helped me grow um, even now? Because I think I, I kind of, on Hap Stars, I kind of told my, my little origin story of art that I, mm -hmm. I completely failed fine art school. I did my oh, yeah, art yeah. backwards. I did art backwards. What? I learned the concepts <laughs> and theories wow. of art and design backwards. Backwards. Okay. I learned it all through my design programs. I learned, I learned the concepts of design and I understood them better using Photoshop and InDesign and Illustrator to right. force myself to learn these concepts, even though it's totally backwards. Okay. Then. Yeah. And only then did they start clicking in my brain to where I could understand those concepts. And then I started exploring <sighs> further into my art because I had learned the techniques, oh. even though I failed some of the classes, you still get some skill, right? Yeah, but exactly. they were really, mm -hmm. really bad drawings, really bad drawings. Um, okay. If I go back, my college art is embarrassing. My high school <laughs> teacher would be ashamed. So... <laughs> I went back and I remember things that were being taught in my fine arts classes and they made so much more sense after I failed, 
after I went mm. to, after I graduated and got my associate's degree, and once I started applying that to the real world, did I start it revisiting the fine art, the fine art side of my creativity? Yeah. And so all of the technical <laughs> is now being applied with the concepts and theories that I learned with my design software. And I really did well and excel at, at doing it on the electronic side. And I was like, well, I need to go back. I need to go back <laughs> and apply that same pizzazz, magical recipe that I learned on paper. And right. start building my skills. Right. Because I should have done that in the first place. Interesting. You know, it's backwards. I don't know why I did it that mm -hmm. way because I'm stubborn. I don't know. But okay, now, people learn differently. <laughs> through the power of youtube university and and hanging out with with fellow <laughs> artists and uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, YouTube university, YouTube university i tell you what you can get several degrees going to youtube university and they're not gonna be yes. wrong. it's seriously it's true. not gonna cost you a fortune either well like <laughs> yeah i like i like skillshare i like domestica i like um there's a lot of different things that you can you know download out there too and uh yeah. that are specifically aimed at something that you're like exploring you know all the cool stuff and you just feel like Murphy oh i wish does, i could right? do that he yeah. learned it on youtube yeah he is self-taught very cool yeah yeah he yeah self all the cool things that he does well i never and went for editing school so i learned it all me. from youtube the, it's all out there you just have to know television. what to look for you just have to know what to look right. for. You, you build it up one bit by one tiny bit by one tiny bit. You can go out and learn basic human feature drawings for days. There's a million of them on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's several different methods of how to do it. I say learn all of them and find a hybrid that works right. for you. You know, yeah. they're just giving you a mm -hmm. guideline and you can break the guidelines and make it your own damn thing. You know, <laughs> right? And then you can teach other I do that all the time. That's something yes. I do all the time. I really do. School does give you a properly curate, curated lesson plan. You could buy that same lesson plan on Amazon.com since beginning for yeah. drawing. <laughs> it's going to be the same thing. <laughs> But um, YouTube gives it to you in motions that you can pause and rewind. And, you know, maybe you have a companion a book that goes along with a video. So you have a physical, like, motion thing and, and you're done, you know? Jeeves reminds Jeeves me of one. a hamburger. You mean the you hamburger? Mean the hamburger you mean the hamburger? Ooh, put a hat on him. <laughs> and he, yeah, oh, the yes, hamburger. That's what I thought. I'll That's take mine awesome. with the uh, bacon and I don't mushrooms see, but and I'll some accept uh, provolone. That. That's nice. <laughs> I accept it too. That's a retro throwback. Yeah, we had Bob's Burgers that. tonight. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Bob's Burgers. Yes. So, Bob's Burgers. I don't know. <laughs> that I watched one hamburger. episode of Bob's Burgers. I never got into it for some reason. Also, not being yeah, afraid mine. to work with others. I know a lot of people That's are like, it. I don't want to show you my artwork. It sucks. It's like, honey, nobody's stick figures that's where we all started um <laughs> i feel yeah, like watching other people together with other people is a very big draw of energy that i give motivation whenever i hang out mm -hmm. and create yeah. with other people mm. cool yeah i think there's a a certain level of I don't know if it's intellectual maturity or emotional maturity <laughs> where, I mean, there was a time when I was younger and I did not want anybody to watch me do. Yeah. Oh my, my God. I, the the worst feeling in the world was having a teacher stand over your shoulder while you were trying to sketch a still life. Right. Like, Can you go? Hey, thanks. <laughs> I would up and my blood pressure would shoot through the roof. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes you nervous, and then you start making all the mistakes in the rule book. Like I was okay with people looking at my work when mm -hmm. it was done. Like, just don't watch me like create it. <laughs> that kind of thing when I was yeah. younger. But that's the fun. Now part, it's like I don't care. Do it. Yeah, I was jaded. No, my favorite know. is when they are doing <laughs> yeah. it. That's the fun part. Yeah, that's the fun part is actually watching people do it. Watching um, them. Yeah. So. yeah. But you know, when you're just first learning, it's you're very self conscious. And of like course, at that time, I, what was it? Junior high. Oh. 
Yeah. Who wants to have anybody watch you do anything when you're in junior high? I mean, seriously, oh, you feel like the whole world is watching you already. Your body is exactly. so awkward anyways. You don't even know who you are anymore. Yeah. You're a stranger to yourself. Yeah, yeah nobody all wants your to be. emotions going, going wild. So can you just leave me alone for a few Oh, man, the first sculpture I ever made I was really proud of. The, the, first, the first sculpture I ever made I was really proud of. I was doing, like, this hand. And it was like a, you know, it was like an arm too. I, but, um, I, I was really sculpting a, a hand. I was sculpting a hand, and it was looking very real. And I was getting really excited about it because I was really liking it. This kid stole it. Yeah, Brandon. This kid I get... stole it. Brandon, here's the here's Sorry. the deal, friend. Um, that's a regional cultural oh, thing. <laughs> um, yeah very conservative part of the world and so a lot of people are not well educated on fine art it's yeah. true and uh they don't understand a depiction of nudity in an art form and a study yeah. of the human body as a shape oh and automatically yeah. i think that modern culture sexualized. yeah they sexualize and it. um here in great old state of Oklahoma, also Arkansas, I believe you were for a little while, in Texas. All three of those count. Um, same thing. They're highly conservative Christian states. They're red as hell. They don't understand anything in the art world for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. I, I think that's that's the nice thing about growing up with an artist like my mom. I didn't have any of those preconceived notions. Oh, you know that it was somehow the body was bad. Ooh, you're doing that for yeah. sexual reasons. Yeah. It's like no, yeah. no. My my parents were practically hippies, so they didn't care. But, yeah. Um, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think they asked me if I smoked pot when I was a teenager out of jealousy and not out of like, you know, shame on you. <laughs> Can we get some? <laughs> but I didn't really understand that concept whenever I was a teenager. I was like, oh shit, this is illegal. And my parents know. Damn. No, I'm not stoned. Mom, I'm just tired. Stayed up all night. Okay. <laughs> get out of my weed, mom. It didn't help that literally... <laughs> Every seventh hour of my senior year, I went to my friend's house and we hot boxed our garage. And then I stayed out there for two extra hours. <laughs> parents came home from work to kind of air out a bit, let's say. It was <laughs> yeah. Yep, I, I was as far raised as by him. It's beautiful. They, they really capture some really pretty, pretty shots. Some really, really nice pieces. Well, some of the famous arts that are out there were nudity somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Brandon, I can tell you just from being just in. Just ignore those, those people. That's what I do. Well, when you're actually in a, a life drawing class, there is no stupidity oh, yeah, allowed. No you are kicked out faster than you can. They're hard to get in those classes anyway. Because yeah. everybody has to take it, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, they're they're serious. You're you're there for business. <laughs> they don't mess around. And you respect those models, man. Or they're I never exactly, made it that. Yeah, they're gonna kick you live out. model classes. That was like upper grades. Like oh. I've been there for a few semesters. That was like beyond design. This sounds like Stranger Things. Yeah. Are we in the upside <laughs> down now? I think so. Maybe. Oh my god. Let's What's go. in Stranger Things? What? I feel like I need to Shadow channel my mom. coming for Let's us. Go. I know, right? Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Like when he says that. <laughs> it gets Let's me so cool. I'm pretty sure these kids all learned about the 80s. Really good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. show. And oh, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. why they did I live in that era? They <laughs> did. Oh, Oh, trust me, I watched a few episodes. Um, there's the season one show. They actually asked them a lot of questions about that. Yeah, they I had to be taught one. about the tech and the references and all that so stuff cool. to prep for the show. I thought it was cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, I've had all those texts growing up. Mm, the eighties were great. Yeah, were. I think they really were. So were the nineties. Worked the nineties a lot. The nineties yeah, don't get nearly as much love as the eighties, though. Nope. 90s had the culture, but not as much as the 80s. Well, for yeah. me personally, the 90s were awesome. Because I was, you know, a complete adult already working and doing creative things. I was really in my element. Yeah. Kind of like was no longer shy about things. Um, right. Didn't feel quite so I felt like I found like my flow, my creative flow. I was doing art. I was like, I was in a band. You hate eighties pop? Playing what? music and performing. It was really great. Yeah, what the? I I'm How not really into Madonna? pop music per- period. I like Madonna and really... stuff. You didn't like Madonna? I am I am more like your Susie and the Banshees kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was very I'm very into punk and, and goth. So yeah, yeah, yeah I was into punk when I was in high school. Oh, Iggy Pop maybe. Iggy Pop is about as pop as I get. So there Iggy you go. Pop? You mean you didn't like Wake Me Up Before You Go Go? Wake me up before um, you go go. <laughs> that guy, that guy, that guy was out before he was out. I mean, like that was very, very, thing? very much not my thing. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like wow. uh, that, and what, what he, what he was doing uh, when you got to have faith, and he's wearing all that leather and oh, tight. Yeah, come on, he yeah. was not aiming at girls. <laughs> <laughs> that message was not meant for me. So I meant, I might be blessed. What blessed? I like. We're gonna leave that red bear right where he <sighs> is for right now, and move on to the next red Too bear. Gummy bear. bear. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy, 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 gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> is there a song? The gummy bear yeah, song. Yeah, there's a song. Yeah, gummy bear song. I would play is it, but I really? probably get oh, wow. naughty, naughty yeah. from the yeah, do it. Gummy, gummy bear. Yeah, it's gummy, German. Gummy, gummy. It's actually gummy bar because it's oh, German. So they changed it. It's like in German, like whatever gummy bear is. That's how it's spelled. It was like two years ago. I got this big ass gummy somebody gave me in a box, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it took me it took me like three months to finish that shit. <laughs> I took like one That's a lot of gelatin. That is a lot. It's a lot of gelatin. There we go. Here, I want this bear down here. What the heck? That's okay. It's an orange bear. It's fine. <laughs> so, how is that progressing? Oop, you're fuzzy on my end. There we go. Now you're not. <gasps> that is so 3D. There. I love it. There He's he just popping out. Yeah, I haven't gotten in nice. yet. Nice. It's just mids and lights right now. But once I get in there with them darks, mm. get in there with them darks, it's gonna be. Oh. It's gonna be real nice. This is very relaxing. I'm glad I'm doing this. I'm glad you're See? doing this too. I am because I haven't done anything in with anybody oh, for yeah. like um since Saturday, and even then, I really yeah. didn't do much of anything. My mind's been on we so many things. Well, I'm not going to be doing creative cooking. <sighs> I'm going to be doing cooking for healthcare, but still, it'll be very purposeful. <laughs> Dev's dogs very are like, it's that. time for bed. Shut it off. Let's go. <laughs> I guess it is good night. Good night, okay, good night man. Thanks Aww. for stopping in. Oh, it's two time. in the morning here. It means it's mm, only one year. year so party it's time. Early. Only 11 so years, nice. So I got lots of time. Well, we'll see. Well, I got two weeks to do all the different things. Um, starting with a bra- background check and TV test and all those things that they make what? you do. What's a TV test? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that the drug test? TB? Thing? TB. Oh, like tuberculosis. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Yes, I already. Okay. Oh, yes, listen yes. to you. Sorry. 
I thought you said TV. The TV test, yes. I could pass yeah, the TV got... test. Let's go. Yeah, click the it on. The sun click always on. shines on TV. <laughs> nope. Nope, not that. No, TB, B, B, yes. TB or not TB. I was like, <laughs> Hopefully, I, I don't that's have the it. Question. Yeah. Well, actually, both of my grandparents had tuberculosis. My grandfather died of it, oh, and no. my father has been a lifelong carrier, so he always tests positive. It's actually wow. quite a big thing in indigenous communities. Oh, um, my older brother also tests positive. From time to time, oh, no. so but it's just like um like a carrier thing. I do not test positive, thank goodness. That's good. If I did, I'd have to do something in order to work. But yeah, yeah I need to get the TB, TB test, and then I get like two background checks, and then um, well, one for Cleveland clinics, mm. they have their own hospital formality, and then one for the food service that they, um, Ar- Aramark, that, you know, they, they uh, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah, you don't spread nothing, yeah. Exactly. Um, they have their, they have their tests, and then, then the, the Cleveland clinic has their own hospital. They're very strict with hospitals, you know. Yeah, hospital guys, a lot of, it's the same thing here. And then once all of that's done, so. I have um, I have their own internal training stuff to do. A lot of HIPAA. Um, safety stuff? Yes, yeah, safety. Well, HIPAA is yeah. a lot of it, like knowing the legalities of what it's like to work in yeah, a what hospital, safety, which yeah. I've done before. So it's just... Privacy. Yeah, things. all kinds yeah, of... Yeah, what you're allowed to do and not allowed to do. Yeah, uh, exactly. There's a bunch of modules. So from a restaurant. Do. Yeah, and then of course um, CPR, first aid, all of that stuff. So yay! Please. I have my tickets for level three CPR. I mean level yeah. three uh, first aid. Oh okay, nice. Yeah, I used to work at a factory, and they sent me, and I became the uh, health supervisor. I guess. So oh, that's everybody cool. Comes my to dad me, did that. Yeah, he was. They all come to me person. when they cut themselves or. They have a nausea or whatever. I got a boo boo, I have to sign them out and stuff. That's and good. That makes my... you very handy. Can you kiss my boo boo? <laughs> yeah. Some guys would no. do that. They're like yeah. in there they're crying their balls out and it's only like a paper card or something. Hi, Mineral Man. Good morning I've seen it to all. you. Hi, Mineral Man. Good morning. Oh, it's morning there? Oh, you must be in the UK or. Or Australia or yeah, New Zealand. It would be UK time. Oh no, Australia would be late at night. What am I talking about? UK. Johannesburg. <gasps> that baby blue looks nice. Yeah, I like this paint. It stays shiny. Yeah. A lot of acrylics tend to be very matte this is heavy body acrylic which is yeah. perfect for the stop painting thing it looks like yeah. i'm playing with it holds like up gloss they look like little candy dots <laughs> my sister started doing something and she's like you want to do it i'll get you some i'm like uh, no thanks it's like these uh, beads and they have already a canvas already like drawn up on a piece of paper Oh, and those they have are those pen. diamond painting things. Yeah. yeah, and then they have this pen and then you have to like oh, take South Africa. The Very cool. color. And she was doing it and she showed me and I was like, you, you want to do this? I'm like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Not that delicate. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'll probably lose all the beats. South Africa, that's pretty cool. South Africa. That's pretty Great rad, Danes actually. are so nice. They're nice dogs. I'm gonna get a dog. I'm gonna get a dog in my I life. Dog too. I need a dog in my life. This morning it's like watching paint dry. I think they are on strike. Oh boy. What? Dogs are on strike. Who's on strike? The dog. The Great Danes. Man. <laughs> uh, no idea. That's what I'm trying to figure That's out. What I'm I'm reading. I mean, I'm watching paint dry right now, but that's another thing. 
<laughs> Literally. It's a different kind of paint. <laughs> different kind of drying. This is actual paint. Drying right before your eyes. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> my mom's my favorite color book. was blue but royal blue I like this blue blue she liked all kinds of royal blue mm-hmm. yes the dogs are eating slowly keep up people uh, eating slowly okay I thought he was talking well, about the dogs so just yeah. I thought you know the thought of dogs going on strike like what <laughs> we refuse to be we refuse to be cute Refuse to be, you know, whatever it is you want us to be. Hey, what's up, Car Hunter? Hey, Car Hunter, what up? Hey, Car Hunter. Woohoo! Late night for them. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Isn't it like three o'clock there or two o'clock? Uh, it is two o'clock. You are correct, sir. Watching the stuff. Mm They're watching the Get stuff. Sure the stuff and the things. That's they're they're stuff watchers. Get stuff watchers. That's watchers. good that they they're trusted for that. They're the watchers. The watchers. The watchers, the watchers. waiting in the wings. Seven a.m. <laughs> Almost there. Keep going. Mm-hmm. You can do it. On set tonight. Seven to stuff. seven. Yep, that's a should start at seven p.m. and ends at seven a.m. I used to do that. Ooh. Sometimes I go to like nine no, o'clock do overtime, and my boss will come up like, "You guys have been too here too long. Get out. I won't pay you anymore." <laughs> yeah, they he literally came. Right? He came and saw. He's like, "What? You guys are still here? Your shift is over. Oh, I'm doing overtime. Well, you're done. Get out after after oh, nine you're o'clock. Costing yeah, you're costing me money. You're costing me money. Go." Exactly. Um, go. Out with you. Yeah. We would do it all the time because we have different, different guys who work at different shifts. So each supervisor here. will come up and be like, yeah, get out. Go home. I want to give you two night hours. That's it. Night two and two. Night, night one, you night one. Two and two mornings. No, I don't like doing that. That that totally that messes with your, your sleep body. cycles, man. And your body, too. It, like it messes health. with your circadian rhythms, yeah. Boy. I've done yeah. midnights for years. When years. I do night, it's oh, night only. You. No sweep, it's shifting over. Well, last I time did I for worked, like yeah, three years. I worked at a night shift. Last three, night, last, last uh, time I worked at the hospital, it was as the midnight cook. That's Those are the quiet happens. and fun night, right? Well, you know, you do all I the like... baking, which is fun. All the cheesecakes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> You do all the fun stuff. Do you sneak one in? Did you hmm? eat one? Do you sneak one in? Oh, I eat one. <laughs> oh, there's, they, they, they have to be tasted. No, oh. mm-hmm. you have to taste test them. Make yeah, sure the quality, is quality, burned. quality control. <laughs> but of oh, course, this slide is tainted. Let's get another slice. <laughs> well. Sentence. Who is? Um, uh, So last night, midnight, our ex president was finally sent to jail after three hours standoff with the police. Thinks he is above the law. I think our ex president is fifteen months for contesting their feet. I was just thinking, like, which ex president are we talking about? (laughs) Oh, probably poker buddies. Yeah, man. Oh, Jesus, Who has I to face the music oh. on 200? <gasps> oh, I didn't ruin it. Thank goodness. Charges. Holy I shit. just dropped this and it kind of went rolling on my dot. But oh, no. it didn't mess it up. Michelle, it did just get to me over here. Oh, you almost did. But oh, no. That was a close one. Oh, I just made it worse. <gasps> oh, no. Fix no, the Jesus. Oh, Jesus, no. I'll that's just, gonna be I'll a, that's gonna be a pedal for, right there. She's gonna pedal that right on. Yeah, her. there we go. Yeah, I meant to do that. Hello. Jesus, Hello. take me. Paint is so Good evening, Ella. Ella. She's the same time as me. Eleven o'clock. Ella, Ella, Ella. My hey. umbrella, hey. Ella, hey. Ella. 
billions of dollars. Yeah. 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 And I said I out. didn't listen to pop. Rihanna's cool. I like Rihanna. It is a gummy mm. bear. It's a whole page of gummy bears. Yeah, it looks so cute. We're going to be gummying it up for hours and hours. This is not, not going to be gummies. a thing. This is going to be a Actually, I like gummy worms. Therapy. Ooh, gummy worms are yummy. I love them. Yeah. Like, like, what's it called? Dirt cake? Yeah. <laughs> or you cookie crumbs and... I used to buy the them worms in. in. Big, Why did big Rihanna have to do the umbrella song? I don't know. Ella, eh, 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 eh. Umbrella. I actually did a concert for her, and I've actually spoken to Rihanna's dad on the phone. Ooh, cool. Very cool. A DJ that uh, DJ's here. He's like, you want to talk to Rihanna's dad? I'm, I need to call uh, up for something. I'm like, oh, sure. So he, he, he phones <laughs> her. Him. Because they live in the same city. They're from Barbados or something. So, he, okay, yeah, so what did you do? Did you say, like, hello, daddy? <laughs> Hi, Mineral. Hey, no, thanks for stopping no, through. I'm glad your dog's enjoying the breakfast. How are you? So you and Rihanna's oh, dad, he's like, yeah. Yeah. And then I don't even remember the conversation after that, what we had. It's kind of cool. That is cool. Your brush with me. And then she came for a concert. And I have worked a concert here at the stadium. Very cool. So that was cool. Didn't Very meet cool. her in person, just worked as associates, employees. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. messed that up. Oh, well. Is he nice? The idiot dogs. Take care. Is he nice? Have a good yeah, day, mineral nice, man. Though. I don't know if you can. Have a good day. Have a lovely day. Interesting. A president who thinks he's above the law, or an ex-president, shall we say. Mm -hmm. Of South Africa. I guess he tried to get away with something. Gummy bears are one of my major food groups. Just Just regular gummy bears, or do you have other gummy shapes that you prefer? Or flavors, because I am personally a fan of bright neon sour gummy worms. Oh, those, those are, are yummy. Any of their I variety like the ones, of flavors. Yeah. Um, Sid actually bought me a bag of gummy llamas. And sour Ooh, llama. gummy llamas. And sour gummy, um, I think they were octopus shapes. Talking about gummies, I got gummy, but they are edibles. Nice. Are the bomb. So Christina is walking the beat while Martin sleeps. She's getting it's those steps in, yes, girl. Mm-hmm. There you go. Helen. That's how you stay awake. You keep moving. Helen. 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 Oh, Helen's here. Hi, Helen. Good evening. Ooh, strawberries. Yeah, these are edibles. They're magic strawberries. Yeah. These were given to me when I was doing my uh, DJ show, and these guys bought, uh, like our company, they bought on to get on the boat to uh, sample their whatever goodies and stuff. So they pay us four hundred. I think they paid like, I charge we charge them like eight hundred dollars just to be on the boat Dang. to do sampling and stuff. There was tobacco companies that came on, and there was other. So they just gave me free stuff, and I don't need edibles, so I'm saving it for my brother-in-law. Who does Sweet. it? I'm like, hey, you have it. So I'm gonna see him tomorrow. So I'll give it to him then. All right. So Hello, Ellen. How's it going? It's been a while. Where you been? Busy. Making her I backyard to visit look dispensary pretty. to try pot from my. She Alzheimer's. started a new podcast, you guys. Did you? She did. How come I didn't get the link? Knob static. Oh, is it knob static? Okay. Mm -hmm. I look at. Actually, woke early enough to Yay. see you for a while. Good. Yeah, hey. we'll be on for probably about another forty minutes or so. Knob. Yeah. Static. 
with a kidna. Oh, Kanab started? Okay, I'll, I'll write it down. Yeah, Kanab. <laughs> Kanab. <laughs> like you being a knob? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you rub the knob hard enough, the friction will cause static. Yeah. Just say. And then start a fire. <laughs> I didn't start the fire. Knob static. Yes, yes, you know us, us night folk. Yeah, with the night owls. What about the rubbing knobs? No, no, Captain, don't even go in that room. I know what you're going to oh, say. Oh, Captain bro. Rehab would love knob static. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rehab. Get Get out of there. Mm. Okay, look it up. Uh, are you on Apple uh, podcast over there, uh, Helen? Who's hosting you? Is the it? You're not doing, are you? You're not doing Anchor, are you? Is that where we started off over there? I don't remember. Okay, let me see. Yes, yes anchoring. anchoring. Oh, so you're the main. Nice. That's you cool. can hear more of Helen's beautiful Helen's radio voice. voice of sexy seductiveness. <laughs> and I'm not even trying to do a proper Scottish accent because I haven't hung out with her long enough to let it wash <laughs> over me like it once has before in such horrible, slaughtering ways. Hey, I found you. Hey, it's right here on the uh, on the podcast app. Yay. On the iPhone. Yes, I'm a found sexy it. Russian. Yes, yes, you're a sexy Russian. Da. Da. <laughs> oh, we need, uh, what's her name from Carrie? What's Algo? Algo? Alga? I mean, uh, Southern American. We need Alga. Oh, Olga. Olga. Olga, that's it. Yeah, Olga. We need Olga, Olga in here. If you want Russian. <laughs> You want Russian? All right, let's put you. Olga is my uh, girl, 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 girlfriend. Yes, yes, girlfriend. Your girlfriend. We <laughs> hang out in attic. Okay, add okay, uh, to my thing. Okay, it's downloading all the ones. There's two. Up. Oh, one oh, so thanks, Helen. I'm the sexy Russian. All right, I accept. That just the sex of Russians. Okay. All right. Got a dash and another set after. After. I found you, Ellen. I'll listen All to right. you later. All right. See you later. You're All happy right. to return. We'll be on for about another half hour ish. Yep. Yeah. Stay awake. At least Stay I will be. I don't know if everyone else is hanging on, but I will be. <laughs> okay. Come back. Always rushing around by the boom tees, yeah. Do you like the vodka? Drink the vodka. Ooh. I love the vodka. <laughs> don't spit on me and I don't spit on you. Have you guys seen the extra hearty version of Badger? Yeah, we're seeing it right now. The <laughs> Russian one. I assume you're referring to my half star's appearance? <laughs> Kennedy, that I only let out on very rare Ooh. special occasions, like weddings. Oh, maybe. Proms. Very nice. Yeah, that's the one. You that's gotta keep one. that power contained, right? I know. All that goodness. Right, every day. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Awesomeness. Oh, I can't even talk now. Oh, my God. Getting into God. this dot. Okay. You're butter me up. What's going on? What's the catch? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's the catch? Let's look look at her over here. She has a super hot. I don't know what's in her coffee, but I want some. <laughs> Wait, have you even gotten coffee? Is, is your espresso machine on or no? The quadruple or the triple triple or the mega triple? What are you having? <sighs> is she having a quad? Are you are you are you having quad coffee and doing your quads at the same time? 
Quadtastic. I just poured it. Haven't even had the first sip yet. What? <laughs> How did you spill that? Oh, you poured it, but you haven't had it. Okay. Yes, quad triple. It's all about keeping it in the quads. We I always like quads. Yeah. It's important. Why you drink your quad coffee? <laughs> Missed you too, Helen. Quadtastic. Fantastic. Fantastic. Say it in that accent. Fantastic. <laughs> Boombastic. Hey, Boombastic. Like Fantastic. Mm. It's the Louvre Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just sounds wrong. Louvre? The Louvre? Louvre Louvre? Louvre Louvre. You know, in the okay, accent. this is the punchy tower. Everybody's punchy. Very punchy. I know. I think, we, I think Helen has woken us up. <laughs> Tell you fantastic, yes. <laughs> yes, it's my fault. Look. No, it's not. I'm just joking. You just woke her us up, not. I will put two guys back to sleep whenever you want. Yeah, you do. Because I have you running in the background when I'm like lying in bed. Listening to your ukuleles. No jokes. Make a change from from putting folks to sleep. Wait, you put people to sleep? to sleep since when? She does. She does like um, really soft. You beat music. me to it. Yeah. She's a musical Alice. ambient. Hey. You are totally. I know. I know Ella does. I was talking about Helen. Yeah. Helen, does Helen I don't know. Oh, let's see. This music makes me feel like I'm watching uh, Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. The uh, Eddie Murphy. Oh yeah, Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. Let's go. And those were the best movies ever. I love. They were pretty movies. rad. Yeah. Put the potato in the freaking exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> that was the uh, best. Playlist on YouTube. I have a playlist of playlists that just yeah, the synth music is nice. shuffles of mostly it's, it's um, a beat that doesn't put your audience to sleep and doesn't annoy the hell it's, out of you most of the exactly. time. Exactly. <sighs> it's mellow music. Bear's foot looks weird, but you know, not all of them can be perfect, so it's fine. Not all of my children are beautiful. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Don't tell him. Tell who? Tell Joe? <laughs> Joe hates him or something, or what? I'm playing Joe's track. Oh, you're playing again Joe's track. Oh, okay, okay, for... okay nice. cool. Good. Well, at least he's getting plays. Hey. You know, he gets stuff. all the royalty. He gets the royalty okay. when you play it. That's so. true. That's why he can't play it during his live stream. It's kind of crazy. You can't play your own music. <laughs> he can play some of his older stuff that's not copyrighted, but his newer album. It's copyrighted, it yeah. You can if you get an approval. 
and you can play it on your screen. Yeah. Yeah, you he could get put, it, put it out there. That. I guess. I guess yeah. that's the way it all works. Yeah, public royalty, and then you, some sites you have to say that's my music, and blah blah blah, and this, and you have to verify yourself before you can play it. I know I've been that's through. Mine, blah blah blah. Yeah, he could contest the strike, but I mean, really, that's like. A lot of effort. Surely he would just, yeah, that's a lot of effort. You had to go through this person, that person. Holy crap, it takes so many people just to get you verified. It's like stupid. Facebook is the worst. Just to get your tick on your name, oh, uh, takes like weeks. Taking a stretch break. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right? We're stiff. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. Oh, and YouTube fell asleep. Wake oh, up, nice. YouTube. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. It's so hard to accelerate my shoe and find a real person. That's so true. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you don't even know if you're talking to real people or you're talking to a bot. What are we talking about? I'm, I'm part of the board. The Huge corporations have just communicating with their users. Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> Being verified was just a way to prove that you are real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that too. Yeah, like being a bot. <laughs> yeah, that's what Pinocchio said. And that's when his nose kept growing longer and longer and longer. <laughs> Can you tell I've heard this playlist before? Yes. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. If I know the words, I will sing along. I'm just telling you. <laughs> so how y'all been? Bring me up to speed. What's happening? Just spell it all. Just tell tell your girl Helen. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know the red, but well, it was I'm so just good getting to say off, it that way. I'm getting off the rush I had from the weekend. All the energy. After a long time, I got to party and do my job at the same time. So yeah. that was fun. Three days straight mm. of partying. Okay. Party time. 100 people, 100 people, 100 people. Party so we had in the US, 300 people in the whole weekend. Cool. So I'm just cooling off now for this week. But I got more coming. So oh, yeah. if you go see my replay, uh, Helen, you'll see my DJ set on my thing that I did. But you would know I'm legit. He's legit, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that was my my weekend, and my week has been slow. I ate too much food again, honestly. Um, there was a lot of napping and staying up late. Got a new phone. What did you? What'd you get? I got the Samsung Galaxy. S21 Ultra. Oh, you got the, this year's phone. Nice. Yeah. Ultra. Did you get the black one? The black? Did you get the black one? Yeah, the black 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 black. Or? Oh, it's, yes. there's, there was, so cool. it, that was in silver. And they only had black yeah. in the store, and I really honestly didn't care. Yeah, I know. It's fancy schmancy. Yeah, it's so um, fancy. I like mm -hmm. the color, actually, the black. The matte black. The specs are better on the okay. older one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a tiny bit bigger too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an OLED screen. It's like it's a little bit more than 4K. What? I know. How can that be? Like how how can a bunny video be bunny merch or whatever be inappropriate material? Is it my video? Have I? 
because it probably had a kid in it or something? That's weird. You shouldn't do that. Because it was about oh, cute God. bunnies? Yeah. <laughs> Did it not Playboy bunnies? <laughs> Did it have Playboy, Playboy bunnies? bunnies? No. No. They probably thought like like those Asian whatever bunny thing that they do. That's sad. Yeah. Oh god. No kids only are suspended kids. from Twitter heck? once for defending no myself against me. an aggressive troll. What? There were no kids, fun, only yeah. March. Oh okay. Well that's weird. Why would they do that to you? Right, yeah, know. troll wins sometimes, Helen. Two bears done. Woohoo! Two, Two yay, and we got lots more to go. Yes, we do. We do, and we will not be finishing Ooh. them tonight. I like the red. Yeah, I like the red. We'll They're very three D. I love them. Mm -hmm. I just like how, how you get them to look like shiny gummy bears. They're very shiny. Shiny. Twitter were very trigger gummy happy bears. with the suspension buttons. Yep, mm -hmm. they are. That's why they were quick enough to ban, uh, what's his name, uh, Trump. Thank God. I mean, that's too bad. And he can't make another account <laughs> at all. So they're watching him. Yep. It took two weeks to ignore me. I was trying to fight them based on principle, but I finally just deleted that post. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. But if it's like um, a corporation, probably could like I used to, some Big Macs, honestly, more golf. <laughs> See, for me, I have client stuff, so I have to fight it. I can't just delete that video. Wonder how he's coping. Oh, he? He's probably just playing golf all day he's long. He's fine. He's just dandy. Yeah. Were they talking I'm about him coming back to power to or jail something? One by one. Weren't they talking about him coming back into power for something? Mm. I wasn't even following that shit. I don't know. Hey, Nazim, how's it going? Hey, morning. It's an Italian mm. here. Bonjour. Like, like your pasta for the morning. Here's the Italian man. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Buongiorno. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going crazy? Oh, me and, and the whole fam here. People believe in I mean, aliens too, so. <laughs> yeah. If People you want proof, go to Area 51. Bless their little heart. Just go to Area 51. I want to believe he's be what? He will be in August. Yeah, that's the rumor that's going around. I, that's what I heard. That he's going to go back to president? No. That's <laughs> bullshit. That's not gonna happen. That's just a rumor. Uh, yeah. No. No, we weren't talking about Trump. We were just talking about Twitter, and then Trump came up as Twitter. Uh, Nazi. Saying how he got banned in Twitter. And then that's where the conversation. Trigger happy and banning people with nothing wrong on their profile. Be How's Nazim this morning? How's Italy this fine day? Yeah, is your city open back again, uh, Nazim? Oh, they're still shut down. Well, that's good. It's a good use of his time. He sued fa uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Google yesterday. Yeah, I heard about that, Nazim. <laughs> He's not going to win. They're all yeah, going to come think together there's... and be like, Nope, yeah. we're not giving you no money. 
Screw you. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. They're not gonna let that through. Well, Giuliani lost his um, yeah. He lost his ability to, you know, what do you call it? His license to yeah, to do the law because yeah. of how many times he filed false lawsuits. Yeah. <laughs> you need to focus on his. All Get your wagon to the wrong store. Mm-hmm. All open crazy Italy about soccer Penn over here. Oh, oh yeah, the wow. soccer's on. Yeah, yeah, he was broadcasting it yesterday. Soccer's on. Mm-hmm. It's going down. Yeah, I've been watching it. England, yeah. Who do you think is going to win, uh, Nazim? I think England's going to beat that one, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, not us. I'm not sure they all sh- shooting themselves. Yeah, I saw that house thing. Yeah, you were posting it. You were outside watching it on the big screen. That's what they do in Singapore and other places. Like, they put big screens out yeah, on the outside, and people just sit by the coffee shops and watch. It's fun. It brings the community together yeah. that way. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, guys, we'll go. You know, have their beer or whatever at the coffee shop and watch the game. Yeah. It's... Yeah, that's why I said England might take it. They were lucky. So I don't know about the today's. You feeling lucky, punk. <laughs> yeah, they kicked their uh, <laughs> they they kicked the uh, it Italy's ass. Yes. Gotta go. go. We're, we're calling. calling. Bye. Bye everyone. See you later. Come back if we still on. Otherwise, bye. bye. Dang. Show. Run the team. Show Dang. bellies. Get cheese Show hooker bellies. now. Dang. I know, right? Hookers? What? Jabella. Jabella. Nazim came Jabella. and left. Said his words and left. <laughs> Cheap hooker. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> I'm glad you're caught up. <laughs> I'm a little lost in my little dots over here. But She's just thin out. Words are just oh, too much right now. Short, Short and sweet. sweet. Yep. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. I'm out. Peace. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Peace. Here's some news. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> Really? He does it all the time. That's why he's our Italian guy. It's a fun experiment. I'm really liking this. Eat, shoot, and leave. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Ba-ba, ba-ba. I think I like these bears over here on the edge the best so far. These bears are edging. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're edgy. Um, edgy. That's what you said. They're edging. God, it's late at night. Lord have mercy. It's okay. You're forgiven. Hmm. Nah. I'll just keep doing it. <laughs> the it's <edge> bears. Bear. <laughs> oh, my. Ooh, my. <laughs> I could just hear that. The way Ellen would say it. Oh my god. No, that's not how she says it. Nope. It's not. It's how Badgers would say it. You can hear my <laughs> voice. That's hilarious. I can. Totally. It's Every time you say shit, it's like, I can imagine it. How you, how you would say it. Not yep. creepy or nothing, don't I worry. That. Okay, so there's this bear, that bear, that bear. We got some feetsies over here together. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with the pink. Oh, I get you. I do that too. Okay, gotcha. 
it's okay. Whenever I'm in the chat, people can hear my voice too, and they're like, "Oh my god, I can hear that in your voice, literally, exactly the way you say that." And I was like, "We hang out." Yeah, it's just like instant. It's just like instant. You don't even have to think about it. It just comes, you know. No, I, I, I get this. I get what you're saying because I can hear it in her voice too. Yeah. There's no second thought, third thought, nothing. It's just instant. Except my brain translates it in a really, really shitty Scottish accent. <laughs> That's the that only is difference. funny. We'll <laughs> work on the Scottish accent. You'll know one day. <laughs> mm. But then it wouldn't be funny anymore. Hello and welcome to Helen's People Wednesday. Work on your Scottish accent. You will nail it one day. Okay. There you go. She needs lots of lessons. Helen, you can start. Yeah. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. You can be my voice double. <laughs> yes, she can. This is really not the best song I'm afraid it is, but it is nonetheless on the fine. So nice. Meh. 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 That's Meh. What she said. Oop. There we go. <laughs> A little more symmetrical, a little more like actual beadwork. Oh, but guys, I'm going to call it a night. I know, it's super It's late. almost 3 a.m. Yes. My bedtime. Yep, That's about 10 more go. minutes. 10 minute call, last call and stuff. Get your drinks. Okay, last call, guys. Last call. Get your tabs, <laughs> your waitress and all that shit. Get her yeah. done. Hydrate. Go take a leak. There's Hydrate. probably a lot in the bathroom. Yep, the bathroom will be closed. <laughs> The moist award. Yes, the, <laughs> the moist award. Get moist. Get moist. I'll do the Did um. You? I'll either do the high five or the whatever it is, the high there award. Just don't turn on the lights. Like the oh, high drink. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, don't do that. You don't want to mm. see what's happened. I see that? That's that's not for. Oh. Once everybody leaves, then you turn the light on. Mm, yeah. Oh, I've seen, I've seen worse. <laughs> oh, oh crap! I forgot to erase this. I have. I have. Oh, you good. know, after everybody leaves, and I'm cleaning up all my stuff, <laughs> and then they flip the light on. It's like shit. What the hell happened? <laughs> you know, there's a reason why they have the lights like that. You know, clubs are totally clubs are totally gross. Totally. Yeah, they are. They are. Seems nasty. Yep. Y'all don't want none of that. I work in them, so I know all about it. Well, boys and girls, uh, I don't know when I'll be on next, but I have a project I get to work on now. So oh, to nice. be continued on the bear business. Nice. Remind me of sticky floors in movie theaters. I think I finished most of the main red parts. I think I only have like one little Ooh. tiny foot down here in the corner. And then we'll move on to green. Little toe. <laughs> oh, green. A little toe bean. Yeah. A little <laughs> bean. Little toe beans down here in the corner. The bean, bean, I may just finish that up before I go to bed so I can be done with the, the first layer of reds. Then I'll come back through later and do uh, the darker yes. parts. On the next round. Very cool. 
Till the next time. Yes. Yep. Sticky movie floors. I'm not sure about that. I never hang out in movie theaters as much. I think Riley's gonna go live tomorrow, and then uh, of course, you know, our friend now with his yeah, VIP ness guys... is gonna be going live. Yeah. Ooh, what? Um, even if you catch the replay, make sure you hit like a relike or react button or whatever, because we're trying to get Riley. Riley's next. Or Cajun Creole. Cajun Cajol. I think it's Cajol. Yeah. Yeah, I can never get it this handle right. Anyways, I know. <laughs> Riley Ryer. Mr. Riley. Riley. Ryer, Cajun Cajol. He's super, like all this alliteration. Super talented. Yeah, he's really, really good at it. Comic book. Mm -hmm. We're working on getting him his VIP badge. We mm. got Jeremy's his today. Which is awesome. Which is super nice. excited about. Um, what comment didn't come through? What comment? You can, you can be it. my voice double. What? And oh, my comment didn't come through. Oh, there it is. The VIPness. I think the VIP. The system... <laughs> Try the NESS version, and it'll probably come through a little fast. <laughs> 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 I think it auto tags those, even though I have it turned off. It was just like, wait a minute, what's this action? happening that's crazy yeah that was a, anyways that was a joke that was a joke right now it's the riley's thing. turn we're going to focus all of our art community juju on getting uh -huh. riley his vip badge because he definitely deserves it he's definitely it nuts while, yeah. it may take a while for him though because he doesn't stream as often yeah. or for as long yeah. well he's he's he works full time and he's right. a student, he's student as well. Struggles. So he's Thanks, Ella. he he maybe broadcast once or twice a, a week, which is not a lot. So. You guys try to do what you can. But yeah, him <laughs> give him some love. <laughs> yeah, it was just such a funny joke Ooh. when they told the two of them were talking. He was trying to basically yeah. say it in like in a plural way. But the two of them were talking about getting their VIP badges together, and he just said, yeah. "You and I, we need to work on our VIP ness." <laughs> and this became this running joke, but it's so it's, it's so nice that he got his VIP family. ness and E S S. Right, and E S S. Yes. Well, well, Jeremy has been like broadcasting every day, drawing every day for years. And to finally find a platform where he can, you know, basically get get the the eyeballs that he deserves. Hey, you know? what's up? Yes. We are going to be on for about another five minutes. We're going to wrap it up. Thanks, Jeeves, for the too cool award. Thank you, sir. Yay. Too cool. You, know you are cool. I'm going to drop down just so I can do some giving myself. I just realized... It's kind of hard to do that when you're in the broadcast, so I'll just drop down in the comments for a, for a sec. All right. Finally, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Whee. Yes. Okay. okay. We'll be here, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Right here. I'm going, going to that. wrap through or just wrap it up. Just wrap it up. Are you going to wrap, though, or just wrap it up? Uh, Well, you don't want to hear me wrap that. <laughs> That's just not right. They'd make me give back my badge, I think. <laughs> the cool clubs badge award or whatever. Yeah. They'll retract my half star on the walk of half star fame. Um <laughs> and whatever else that means. Uh, <laughs> totally making shit up right now. Um like yeah, that would solid. be just not good. Hey, there's Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Ah, Michelle. Michelle. Too, too cool. Cheers. I try to spread my love around. Keep all the coinages to all the peeps. Why does there have to be so many cool peeps? 
<laughs> Getting punched. I'm punching what? myself. Again. Oh, you punching. can't talk. I was like, you're getting punched. Who is you punching you? Words. He's tired. Go to sleep, Michelle. <laughs> you're tired. Yes. Go can't to talk. sleep, little Michelle. Thanks for being in the background as I drew tonight. Brandon, what did, did you draw? Why did you draw? He could have came up and drawn with us. I know. He Which doesn't want to. It's fine. Non-violent here, dude. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I read the comment this... wrong. Okay, Michelle. Sorry. Read. Read that up. There we go. This night owls. Yes, there we, we are the night owls. Night owl award. Thank you, Ella. Yeah, Brandon, what you what you draw over there? What you what you what you draw? Oh, Brandon, hi. you're always welcome to join us up here. Just let me know if you want to come up, because I know sometimes you uh, are not in the mood for doing such things uh, he was drawing he was drawing edge sketchy thing. edge thing did you post it on your facebook uh, brandon oh well, i'll have to check later i'll definitely do that check the things and the stuff i'm joking okay sketchy yes edge. ella i mean uh, michelle Michelle, I'm so excited for you and your new job. Just don't leave us, okay? Yeah, good luck on the job. Just don't leave us hanging over here in, in the land of Haps. Yeah, come back and do your your art thing. You're still going to do your Saturday heart? heart uh, what's it called? She the may be working thing? on Saturdays, so we may have to shift it to another day. Another day, yeah. We may actually Ooh. broadcast more. <laughs> Yay. What? Pop up and say hi, but no invite. Dude, all you got to do is say, say girlfriend. Here. Right now. Before we yeah, shut her down. Nice. Come in and say hi <laughs> real quick. We're going soon, man. I will have Thursday yeah. and Friday off, okay? There he is. Friday is cool. How's hey, going? Brandon. Well, hello. Let's hello, see. how's it um, going? Oh, it's going okay. It's going right. good. Yep, 43 has been tiring. It's just a quick little sketchy <laughs> sketch that I've been doing. Oh, that's <gasps> a sketch. Oh, that's I so know cool. that face. Can I share it? Uh, yeah, you can share it if you want. Okay. So yeah, let's just put you up working on it off and on. While you can take me off here. if you want. No, we got him. Oh, okay. Look at that. That oh, cool. is awesome. You know, Thank I you. watched that movie with the fam mm -hmm. the other day. I really hope that um, Joe makes that a must-watch retro rewind situation on, on uh, very soon, because I really forgot how much I love that show. Yeah, it'd be awesome. And okay. all of the uh, art that's in it. Yeah, because I've been wanting to do uh, uh, this is just practicing because I want to do him and I want to do a nice Frankenburger. Two of my favorite Ooh, characters. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be neat. Are you going to are you gonna do a series or are you just doing um, the one? Um, I would actually like to do more characters from the Labyrinth. Like I did that one practice one. Hold on. Let me turn that back on. Um, turn the camera. Yeah, I did this one as a practice. There's so many. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. I have to practice. No practice. Get out of here with this. <laughs> Put a mom on the screen. Yeah. Look at this, you guys. Seriously, that's amazing. Thank you. Got a whole sketchbook. Nice. Well, yeah, because the yeah, June tune is yeah. like, there was so much. Oh, the yeah. So much. Like, yeah, I need to do more. Oh, that's I mean, so cool. 
Oh, I like that. That's cool. Thank you. Do you do? So yeah, just uh, sketching away. Yeah, I don't do nice. it very often, but I enjoy it. That's why I like coming in here when you are drawing. Yeah. Because it's neat. Yeah, to... join them and draw with them. Definitely. That's what um, they do. Yeah, yeah just, but um... I don't draw. I just hang out. <laughs> I can't draw. Yeah, uh, anytime uh, Joe or myself or Michelle, um, basically any of the art people are on and you see us, just be like, hey, let me beam me up, Scotty. And we'll I be just... happy to shoot you an invite. I just, I just know that sometimes I'm... you feel like just hanging out, and and so I don't want you to feel like you have to come up if you don't want to. <clears throat> well, like if I had a drawing area, mm -hmm. then it'd be different. But me just laying here in bed drawing just feels weird. I got you. Right, right. But I, I do it. Excuse me? Who's talking? Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, <laughs> Siri. Yes, exactly. She's all my business. You just draw the crowd. Jeez. Okay. Maybe I do. Jeeves is the eye candy. <laughs> the eye candy. The eye candy. <laughs> yep. Well, I, I so bring the crowd. Sharing. I really, yeah, really nice. think you have a super talent in uh, for the world to see more of it because it is pretty awesome. So um, I hope you get to join us more and maybe draw along point yeah because i know y'all have some of those themes and they're really neat yeah sometimes we do have themes sometimes it's just a free-for-all whatever um yeah, saturday saturday evenings on michelle's channel sketch parties a lot of the times we'll have themes or we'll have just a topic while we work on whatever it is we're working on mm -hmm. what's nice is that i th think i'm gonna look forward to those even more now that i have this project that's probably gonna last quite a while Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll have that as a break so I can work on something different and then come back to this one so my brain can have a break of not staring at gummy bears for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm digging the gummy bears. <laughs> oh, me too. I'm digging the gummy bears too. I love how they're have, um, coming out so far. So we'll see. But anyways, guys, it is officially 2.02. That means I We're am going to turn it. into a pumpkin and go to bed. <laughs> I Totally encourage everyone else that's in the United States to also go to bed. Just don't break your brain. Yes, don't break your brain. <laughs> that's a very good rule for all artists to follow. Don't break your brain. Yes. Um, so stay tuned till next time. Adios. Keep it classy. Keep it artsy fartsy. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.